Kalata, Dating Seminar Workshop na mamang kapasidad at mamaisa. Para sa mga nakakalaga, mamapad, at i-discuss ang learning, inyan na mga 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 makumuna. Eh, so sa lahat ng mga 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 guro, at mga 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 guro, Parang sa asap na ito, ang PRO sa pamumuno ng ating kakatatagang ina ng rito, Madam Ray Clark, kayo kung puso namin pinatatagap sa seminar workshop na ito. Ensuring the business of winners and the delivery of the status learning and the new normal. So, let us be guided by the system we have really developed as students to be as responsible. May I really is actually showing me that your motive. We may not be more last at among us at panatang tunan at papa sa pagpagpugay ng ating mga awat. Ating pakinggan ang audiovisual presentation na ipapaglilig sa atin ang ating galawang adas ng CLNB, si Ginoong Warren Kinjawan at Ginoong Kermit Padilla. Hinihiling mo natin lahat na sana tayo ay tatayo para sa ating lupang hininirang. Tinitinitinitin sa lahat ng mga mahalaman ng mga partikman. Hinihiling po namin sa rasana ang ating lulutukan. Kayo po ay narin na nilinig. Maliwala-wala. Mga kapag-aburo. Okay? Para-para po namin na kapag-aburo. Maraming salamat po. Ngayon sa mga panatang-panatungan, kayo dapat ang mitro-mitro, sana-sana ay hindi ang pag-apag-asukas. Pag-isara lang po. Maraming salamat ang mga mga. Para sa mga pagkilala sa ating mga kalaku, para sa pag-ihan ito, ay isa sa gawa ng Madam Elizabeth Romayan, ang ating CLNB teaching a special event. Mga 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 na imbag na asapan kada tayong amin. This MD board made possible with our presence virtually and in secret. It is then it is then of immense importance to acknowledge the participants for this four-day activity. For our teachers who are in the Microsoft team, I like all your discretion. Kindly turn on your cameras to be recognized. And to our dear teachers watching live in our debit card help desk, Facebook group, and to the YouTube, kindly comment your division in school to be acknowledged also. Teachers, from the division of address, kindly turn on your mic camera. Kami na lang po ang video ng mga kawai-kawai. And from the Facebook, may nakita ko from the food to go up to the food. From the YouTube. Next, from the Tabuk City. Tabuk City Division. Tabuk City Division. May nakasama sa Facebook natin from Northern District 2 of Tablapu City and Langwan National High School of Tablapu City. From the Division of Apaynao. Kawai-kawai, turn on your camera sa ating friends sa Microsoft Teams. Apayaw? Apayaw? From the additional mountain property. Nakita ako sa Facebook from the Wilmot Elementary School sa Natuni. Logo sa ating friends sa mountain property. From the additional mountain city. Lagi Siti, turn on your camera, kapal kawal ko. Hello? May nakita ko sa YouTube, Gisad Valley National High School. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. 
Yang dari Division of Kalinga. Hello, Kalinga people. Hello, California. Kawan-kawan, And Uling pa ang alas sa inyong lahat, mga minamahuna namin partisipan sa ibig na rin, at ang alas ng mga And even na nakikita, hindi nyo naririn, pero sa ibang screen, napapanood na namin kayo. Naririn namin ay nangyong musis. Kaya, para naman na ang pagpapaliwanan at sa kahalalahan ng ating seminar workshop ngayon, ang naribang pakianood na namin ni ang ating mikrofono. Naman salamat po. Okay? So, para malaman ang dahilan ng ating pagpapitun dito at ang kahalalahan ng ating siya siya paalam sa atin na na hindi po si Elie, wala lang ba kung di si Madam Carmel Mer. Good morning, good morning isa sa aking lahat. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am Thelma. Thank you, ma'am Elizabeth. Good morning, ma'am Marley. Hindi ko ako magsisimulang magsalita. Hindi po nang nangyong yung inyong mga bayi. Please kaputut off at ang mga microphones. Isa lang ako ang magsasalita para na maintindihan tayo. Mom Jennifer Dumayo, please mute your microphone. So maganda kakapag meron pa rin, meron pa rin. Pakimute muli. Hindi po tayo masisimula hanggang nakamute. Meron pa rin. Kalau 
So can, can we all, all see, see the slide? slide? All, all right. right. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for complying. So, so I'm adding uh, our activity for today, which starts today, is entitled Ensuring Readiness of Teachers in the Delivery of Distance Learning in the New Normal. What is expected from all of us for these four days will be the following. Enhanced teachers' mastery on the parts and contents of the weekly home learning plan and self-learning module. Capacitate you, our participants, on aligning the weekly home learning plans with the developed self-learning modules. Then develop your confidence in preparing your weekly home learning plans. That's, That's why, why tomorrow you will, will present to us also your output as, as a product of, of the inputs that, that you will gather from us today. Then uh, on the third and fourth days, promote resiliency amid pandemic and help the teachers understand comprehensive sexuality education along with uh, an orientation on health concerns. So this will be a four-day activity starting today until Thursday. And, and what, what is, is uh, what, what will you uh, be doing for the four days? So this so day after the opening program, we will be an orientation on the distance learning delivery and uh, a topic by Mrs. John and Amrana, our apps for TLE on the parts and contents of the weekly home learning plan and, and the self-learning modules. Then, then we will proceed to a sample no, of, of the weekly home learning, learning plans per key stage. And, and for key stage one, the kinder to grade, uh, grade three will be presented by Denia Tarnate, our apps for SPED. And uh, for key stage two, that's grades four to six, that will be presented by Sir Patricia Dawaton, our apps for English. Then for, for key stage, stage three, that is grade seven to ten, that will be presented by Mama Lucy Agnasi, our apps for LR. And for key stage four, grade eleven to twelve, will be presented by Sir Brian Dalo. For tomorrow, we will listen to you as you present to us also your weekly home learning plans as an output. As an output to what you have uh, gathered from us for this day. And this will be facilitated by Mom Chen Claire Pigai. And after that, you will see a weekly home learning plan for Project Resilience. Prior to October 5, we are to orient our parents on the psychosocial first aid. And this will be uh, presented by Mom Chen then on Wednesday, on Wednesday, we will understand comprehensive sexuality education and uh, dealing with health concerns to be presented by our pop up officer and health officer. This will be very important because we are expected to integrate this also in our lessons, and so this should, this should be present in our weekly home learning plans. And the last day of September 10, we will listen to Sir Rolando Banahu, who will talk to us on resiliency amid pandemic. And um, this should be the first topic, but because of our activities here in the region, we have to uh, 
adjust, adjust our, our schedule. schedule. We are, we are putting, putting this the last, but this is a very important topic since this is preparing you, you know, psychologically on this new normal type of education. So that will be the four-day activity. I mean, this, these are the activities for the four-day uh, orientation or webinar for this week. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat at mga mga karmel para sa pagbibigay ng may kalipan na sa lahat ng ating mga katawin mula ngayon hanggang sa ikakapat na araw. Okay, so maraming salamat sa inyong uh, pakikinig. Ito ang muling bahahay ng ating palagutunan at inahasahan natin na muli wala sana ng uh, nakaanyok ang kanilang mga mikrono. Inuyot sana Lagyan niyo na ng para may islas yung mikrofono ninyo, okay? Para rakigyan natin ang huli na ng tagapagsalila ngayon yung Okay, so para na mau at makamplito ang araw na ito, ay ihahatid sa atin ang minsaheng magpapalakas at magbibigay ng inspirasyon sa atin. At ito ipaparating sa atin ng ating walang kakagulang buting ilalang ng mga na sa kabila ng kaliwat kana ang ginagampan ng trabaho ay nagagawa pa rin makasama natin din tayo tuwing may webinar na tulad nito. So inaanayahan natin ang ating mahal na ina ng milyon, Director Mary Ikla. Para sa kanya ng minsan. Ah, may maga at sapa ka na kayo amin. Ah, clear ba? May maga at sapa ka na kayo amin. Clear ba? Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, katulad na sa amin ni Telma, mas makakabuti para sa ating lahat kung naka-turn uh, off no? yung ating uh, uh, microphone. So, so yun, yun yun lang ang diskusyon. So, so ginagamit natin yun, yun, yun open lang natin yun kung tayo ay a resource leader. No? Katulad ng... Uh, ng dami natin ngayon, 249. So, so dapat, dapat yun, yun naka-mute naka lahat yun. yun. Yung video nyo, kung, kung gusto ninyo yung pakita, yung mukha ninyo na diba? So, so, so you can also flash, flash pero uh, uh, pwede rin naman na islash ninyo yung, yung part na yun para hindi tayo makadistract din sa uh, attention, especially pag may mga discussions na. No? So, so, yun yung ating pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-pag-a-
no? No? At ayo din naman natin, natin mapayapa po all the attention ng sino pa yung nakakaupit pa ang microphone. Okay, so muli na yun, nagsapa ka na tayo amin. Uh, I, would uh, like I would like to personally, personally thank, thank our, our participants, participants for this, for this uh, training, for sparing, for sparing time, time to attend this four-day four training, training actually, no? actually, no? to ensure, to ensure the, the readiness, readiness of, of our teachers, teachers for October 5. So, so, so nagpapasalamat kami because, because uh, uh, 268 lang nandito ngayon sa ating loop, loop attending, attending this training. training. So hopefully, so hopefully this will be this cascaded, will be cascaded down, down to the other teachers, other teachers para, para mas lalo, mas lalo no, na, no, na, na, na maging, maging preparado, preparado ang ating mga, mga guru camps of October, October 5. 5. The title, the title of, of the activity clearly spells out our objective, but to... to uh, though, uh, though in the SDO's, the SDO's readiness, readiness reports, reports training, training of teachers, of teachers on, the on the delivery of, of distance, distance learning, learning is already in the advanced stage. stage. And, uh, and uh, for that, for I, would that like I would like to commend our SDO's, our SDO's no? for doing, for doing a, great a great job in terms, in terms of providing, of providing our teachers, our teachers with, with the necessary skills, skills on distance, on distance learning. learning. The guidelines and, and the learnings that you will acquire today. And, and in the in succeeding, succeeding days, days serve, serve as a supplement, supplement no? Para no, vitamins, para vitamins na ito. Na ito. To what to you, what have, you learned have learned in your, in your previous, previous trainings. trainings. And, and we would, we like, would to like to ensure, ensure that, that we are on the same, on the same perspective, perspective as to what, as to what, what we want, we want, we want to, happen to happen and how, and how it, will it will happen in every school across, across the region. 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 Kaya kung baga ito yung mga, yung mga pinali, pinali natin, natin ng mga, mga uh, pag-uusap para, para makasigurado tayo that we are on the same boat. Iisa ang ating direction na pupuntahan, isa yung ating gustong masyari at, at kung paano natin natin gagawin na magiging, magiging maayos, maayos sa opening, opening ng klase. klase. And, and although, although we admit, we admit our, journey our journey in, in this, in this uh, new normalist at ECC, uh, especially uh, so, so that uh, we are used to deliver learning, learning, learning far, far from, from what we shall implement this year, this year uh, still, uh, still I hope that the anxiety, anxiety on how, on how it will be done will be will replaced, replaced by, by excitement. excitement. And that, that excitement will, will be the feeling will, will be replaced by because, because in the next, in the next few, days, few days, we will, we will be seeing the fruits of our hard works. Hard works. Kaya pag Kaya sinasabi nila, ang siya ko, 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 ganito, ganito uh, baka hindi baka tayo, tayo makaganyan, no? no? Uh, uh, lagi ko lagi sinasabi, ko sinasabi na, na, palitan natin, natin yung anxiety, anxiety into, into excitement. excitement. Mas masaya. mas masaya. Kasi kung Kasi masaya, masaya ang feeling, feeling mo, mas masaya, mas masaya mong ginagawa yung trabaho, trabaho mo. mo. Kung wala kang takot, kang takot alam mo, alam mo, very, very confident, confident ka, ka that, that uh, we, will, we will all be successful, successful in, in doing this and in opening, opening our school year. year. Okay? okay? So, uh, you've, been, you've, been, you've, been you've been working, working with, with us. us. Alam namin yan. I know. You katulad ng ating mga kasama-kasama sa CLMD team. At ang inyong mga ID team. Uh, uh, you, you have, have spent, spent sleepless, sleepless nights, nights and, and extra time, time no? in, in doing your part in your preparations. Uh, alam, alam ko ito kasi ang aking manunggay sa ring guro. Kaya alam ko rin na sa lukuyan din sila na nag-a-attend siya ngayon ng webinar. Kaya ako ngayon ang dito sa room siya yung nandun sa dining kasi dati yun ang aking office. So siya naman doon kasi tinuturuan din niya pa niya. Uh, anak, anak sinasabay ngayon, ngayon ewan ko kung paano niya gagawa ngayon sa kasi ngayon. At online, online naman, naman yung, yung kanyang uh, puso, no? no? Naka-online, kaya uh, yun yung mga panibagong roles na natin ngayon na medyo kakaiba. Pre-pre-pre from what we have been used to, no? So, so at alam, alam ko na, na you've been very, very busy in the past few days, days developing modules, modules pagawa ng mga worksheets, and, and uh, so probably nga yung mag-aaralan natin, natin dito ngayon, ngayon ay ginagawa nyo na. na. Kaya nga sabi, sabi ko, supplement na lang yung ating, ating uh, gagawin ngayon dito, dito, yung paggawa ng mga learning plans, plans ninyo. ninyo. And, and uh, uh, I would like to mention you all because you would like to really ensure that we shall not fail, but that we shall succeed. In uh, attaining our objective of uh, having a successful uh, opening of the school year and that we shall not fail our, the expectations of our learners. No? Kasi alam ko, they are also excited na rin uh, to attend classes in whatever modality it will be. So I hope that uh, at this point in time, we are no longer asking the wise. 
Bakit, bakit na naman, na naman ito? ito? Bakit, bakit na naman, naman ito yung training, training na ito? ito? Bakit, bakit kinakailangan natin gumawa ng ganito-ganyan? Ganito, ganito, ganito. But rather, at this, at this point, point, you are, are already, already asking, asking yourself, yourself, what is your purpose? What is the reason of your existence? What is your being as a teacher no, in this new norm? And that will, if you will be able to answer that, no, gamitin ang puso, hindi lamang ang isipan, then that will propel you forward. Pag alam mo yung purpose mo ngayon, kung bakit yan ito yung ating mga ginagawa, bakit you're spending time with us, that will propel you to your wow. No? Instead of why, wow ang mararamdaman mo. And uh, opening up and accepting that this new normal, that this is the new normal, will bring out the best in you. So remember that we have almost 400,000 Cordilleran learners who are counting on you, depending on you and relying on you because they believe that you have those admirable qualities no? that speak or describes your dedication to your teaching job. Okay, so, and just our, just like our learners, we are also counting on you. Kami sa region, sa mga SDO, sa tangyong mga school heads, are counting on you, my dear teachers. And may this additional learning add value to what you have now. And may it bring out the best in you. So, God bless sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay kayong minamahal nating mga guro. Maraming salamat, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa ating uh, direktor. Mangyari bang uh, palakpahan natin? Bigyan natin ng masigabong palakpak ang ating inanang rehiyon, si ma'am Eklar. Okay. Ayan, so naranig natin si uh, Madam. Marami akong natutunan sa kanya kung kayo ay narinig ng mabuti. Sabi niya, uh, nakinig uh, ng mabuti. Uh, marami tayong natutunan sa kanyang mensahe. No? Sabi niya kanina, bagamat uh, nagkaroon kayo ng advance na training sa inyong sariling division, ay kinakailangan pala natin ang vitamina doon sa ating mga isinasagawa at yan ang ating ginagawi, ginagawa o gagawin ngayon sa loob ng apat na araw. Lagyan natin ng vitamina. Kailangan natin yan, di ba? Para lalong sasarap uh, at magiging kumplito, maging sustansya ang ating ginagawa, lagyan natin ng vitamina. At isa pang sabi niya, isa alang-alang natin, na tayo ay nakasakay lamang sa isang bangka. Iisa ang ating pupuntahan, iisa ang ating direksyon, iisa ang ating sinasabi, iisa lamang ang ating misyon. Kaya pakiusap, sana walang pabalik, walang pakaliwa, at walang pakanan, kundi lahat sana tayo ay pausad sa ating pupuntahan. So, ngayong umaga, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pakikinig. Excuse me, uh, ma'am, Telma. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, marami pong nagtatanong sa live streaming po. Yes, ma'am. Bakit? <laughs> Hindi nila naririnig ba? Buksan nila ang kanilang uh, Facebook. Ma'am, ano pong gagamitin na link po? Yung dito rin ginamit namin, ma'am, ang link na gagamitin? Uh, Di ba nabigyan kayo ng uh, memo? May mga lahat ng mga... Lahat ng mga division may naibigay doon na link. Lahat na bigyan doon, nakasulat doon sa hindi ba ninyo natanggap ang uh, memo natin? O Ma sige. Ma'am, may memo po dito. Pero wala po kasing link na nailagay. Uh, may nailagay sa lahat ng division. May nakalagay na link sa lahat ng division. Nakita ko yan. O di bali. Di ba meron? Ma'am, yung pangalan lang na binigay ng SD, sila lang dapat ang papasok dito. Yung iba ma'am. Mag-livestream na lang sila. Kaya nga yung livestream raw, hindi raw nila alam ano ang bubuksan. Ma'am Lily, meron po. Yes. Ko po sa'yo. 
Oh, ibibigay na lang natin sa titignan ninyo sa chat natin. Uh, oh, okay po, ma'am. Ilalagay na lang doon na lang. Oh, pakisabi yes, na lang sa mga kasamahan. Thank you po. Pero yung kasali sa seminar ngayon, yan lang yung mga uh, uh, sinabmit ang mga pangalan sa bawat division. Kasi inaasahan natin sa bawat division ay merong uh, tigwawalo sa lahat ng stage. Yung apat na stage, kaya inaasahan natin sa bawat division ay merong 32 participants sa lahat ng ating division. Yan. So, pati yung mga school heads natin sa elementary, school heads natin sa secondary, ay dapat lahat-lahat tayo sana ay 384. Pero yung mga iba, invited sila sa Facebook. Kaya kung hindi makapasok yung mga iba, pagsasabi lang na yung uh, naisubmit ang mga pangalan, sila lang yung mga tinanggap dito. Okay, yan po ma'am. Uh, meron pa kayong tanong? Wala na? Okay, so tulad yung sinabi ni uh, ma'am kanina, ang ating direktor, paalaala uli. Okay? Uh, sabi natin, i-off ninyo ang inyong microphone kasi mas kiingay yung bata kalampag ng pinggan tilaok ng manok naririnig natin hindi niyo makikita pero nakikita namin sa uh, sa screen namin at yung camera rin niyo pakiturn uh, off adangay ti isla si Jay talmud yo katas langay nga magudwa as nga no puso kot magdugan ta Wan, tama ding ding ng debusis yung mabuibuya kayo pa, no karata karata, takder kayo, karakod kod kayo, weno mangmangan kayo, mabuibuya mida kayo, pero kayo hindi nyo nakikita yung sarili sa sarili ninyong screen, kaya hindi lang tula yung sabi ni direktor kanina, hanggat maari kasi ito na ang buhay natin ngayon, di ba? Meron at meron parin tayong susunod na webinar na ganito. Kaya dapat maingat tayo. Hindi natin alam tayo ay napapanood. No, agsasaw ka tina, um, no, the expression mo nga nabanggit mo, nadengeg ti buo nga Cordillera. Nya, no, paalaala lang yan, mga uh, kaguro, kusapil, uh, magiging ano tayo, maingat tayo kasi mahirap. Pati yung pag-aalis ng damit, yung sabi ni ma'am kanina, nakikita yan. Kung may dumadaan sa likod natin, napapanood namin sa aming screen. Okay po? Okay, so, uh, yan lang ay isang uh, reminder sa ating lahat. So, kung wala kayong tatanungin, ipapasa ko na ang uh, intabladong ito para sa ating susunod na gawain kay Madam Rosita Agnase. Ma'am Rose? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning Cordillera. So this webinar on ensuring readiness of teachers in the delivery of distance learning in the new normal is brought to you Good by Good morning, the Madam. Learning and Management Division of the Cordillera Administrative Region. So before we are going to continue, may I remind the webinar notes on mm -hmm. Please use the chat box for sharing of thoughts and questions. Exchange of ideas. And we are keep on repeating that we are going to set to mute your microphone all throughout the webinar unless you feel like asking a question or giving a reaction. Ensure that your screen shows all the times the slides in the same place. Be an active participant not only on talking but uh, on listening and on jotting down as emphasized earlier for participants with audio problem please submit your questions using the chat feature as they come to mind but please know that all questions be answered until the end of our speaker's talk however we shall prioritize questions directed in the chat box here we have uh, technical support permit, we have Elisa, Jonah, 
to collate all your questions. The rest of the participants shall air their questions to the speaker thereafter. So please wait to be recognized before shooting your questions. So dear, dear participants, observing the forum shall help stand up this event in a smart and digital way. So please guide it accordingly. So without much ado, we are going to start now with our first session. And I would like you to meet our resource speakers virtually. For the first session, which is the overview, the contextualized mechanism on the implementation of a distance learning delivery, delivery mode will be discussed to you by our intelligent, very committed, and motherly, innovative chief of the CLMD. So to know her more, she had been a dedicated classroom teacher before she became a school head. After being a school head, she became the education program supervisor in the uh, CLMD in the regional office. And at present, she is the chief of the Curriculum Learning and Management Division. So friends, let's welcome Mom Carmel Marys for the first session. May we all have a virtual clap for our resource speaker. Mom Carmel, please come in. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Maganda sana kung live, no? Uh, I mean, uh, face to face. But because of the situation, we have to make do with the uh, virtual, with this virtual webinar. Eh, sabi kanina, please put on the, your camera. So I'll just put on my camera for a while. Then I'll. Put, I'll i off ko kasi baka mag mawala ako later, no? Okay. Eh? So again, we remind you to please uh, put off your mics and uh, Warly and Kermit will uh, post kung saan, kung ano ang link later for the live stream. So, register Sige, naririnig namin ang chismis ninyo. <laughs> Okay, off yung mga mic, please. Okay, ready na tayong makinig? Ayan. So, maganda pag uh, lahat tayo nakikinig, no? So, it's the same with our classrooms, di ba? When we are in the classroom, we do not start the class until everybody is... Uh, until we are sure that everybody is in attention. Okay, so it's the same with this one. I will be stopping every time I hear noise around. Kasi I am easily distracted too. All right. So what I'll be presenting to you is just an overview of uh, of our distance learning delivery. No, I think you have to know. Baka hindi nyo panabasa yung ating regional memo 236. If it was not yet shared to you, please upload it in our DepEdCar website that is open to everyone. Okay? This uh, regional memo is pursuant to our learning continuity operational plan. Again? Ah, okay. Sige. My technical glitches tayo. Wait lang ha. Okay, nakikita ba? Yes po, ma'am. Wala pa rin. Nakikita po, ma'am. Meron? Meron? 
Meron po. Okay na? Sige. <laughs> Ninenervyos ata tayong lahat, no? <laughs> okay? So, um, yun. As I have been mentioning a while ago, is pursuant to our learning continuity operational plan in time of COVID-19. And uh, this LCOP or yung learning continuity operational plan is our roadmap. Okay? Siguro sa inyo nag-prepare ng mga divisions and it was presented to you. So for the region that prepared in Tayo, and this becomes our roadmap to ensure that learning opportunities are available for all Cordilleran learners. Ito na ating regional memo. This one is uh, a product of the feedback that we have gathered from you during the pilot testing. If you were a participant of the pilot testing, no, thank you very much and congratulations because you have contributed to this regional memo 236. All the things that you have shared are already in this. I hope no, that we have captured them all in this regional memo and we have entitled it the contextualized mechanism and compendium of resources in the implementation of blended distance learning delivery modality in debit car for school year 2020-2021. And these mechanisms follow the distance learning delivery modality, which uh, is shown in your screen at the moment. Kung nakikita nyo itong flow, I hope nakita nyo ang flow na ito, or it was contextualized in your level, in your divisions, but the flow is more or less the same. No? Uh, Ang focus niya or nakabangko po siya sa modular learning delivery modality. Ano ba ang nilalaman nito? So we start with the first stream or the first stage of the flow, which is the organization of classes and school readiness. In this stage, we would like to remind our stakeholders, our schools, to first and foremost ensure safe work environment. So nakaroon ng mga ng mga disinf ano to? disinfections no? in your schools. Nagkaroon din kayo ng mga, uh, there were donations on PPEs, masks, sanitizers, and all because uh, of our priority on health. And then nagkaroon din tayo ng enrollment and our parents filled out the LESF or the Learner Enrollment and Survey form. And from this, Dito nyo dinetermine kung sino sa mga learners ninyo ang ready for the distance learning delivery modalities. No? Kung sila ba ay ready for online, for radio or TV based, or for modular. At karamihan ata no, sa ating divisions ay modular learning delivery modality. Augmentation or supplement na lang sa iba ang audio and video uh, materials. Then of course, after that, nagkaroon kayo ng orientation and dissemination no, lalo na noong August dahil akala natin talaga mag-open tayo ng August. So puspusan ang uh, information dissemination at our levels. And this was facilitated by our school heads. Thank you very much to our school heads. Then of course, there's continuous support no, from the division and the regional. Yung, yung aking atang niriyayan, connection. Mm -hmm.
Pasensya muna ha, may technical glitches po. Okay. Alright, so we go back. Okay, the next stage will be the development of self-learning modules and quality assurance and preparation of instructional packets. So I think uh, you are in this stage at, this, at the moment, no? We are all in this stage prepare, preparing our uh, packets. So as much as possible, the reminder is that the primary learning resource shall be the self-learning modules developed by the regions. Ito po yung dinadownload ng ating central office to all STOs through the LR. Okay? Nasa LR po ninyo ang mga SLMs na ito. Kung, uh, kung sa ganitong sa, at this stage ay wala pa rin, Kung merong mga learning areas or grade levels na wala pa ang mga self-learning modules, ay authorized na po kayo mag, uh, ano to, mag uh, reproduce ng ating RO or SDO quality assured. Okay? Kasi malapit na ang pasukan. No? Hindi na siguro natin maantay pa yung mga galing sa CO kung wala pa. Especially for the first quarter. Then uh, please, uh, please help one another. No? Facilitate pa rin the body-body system. You have been doing this, this even before COVID time. So please maintain this uh, kind of uh, system in your school that you help one another in preparing the learning resources. And we are happy when we see that on Facebook. No, You're all helping in the reproduction and helping in the preparing. Even the school heads are also there. Photocopying, and that is a very good sign of the teamwork of your school. Please maintain that. And another very important thing that you are to prepare is the weekly home learning plan. This is the bulk of our topic for these two days, this four day orientation. Then, packing of instructional packets. Yan. I hope marami na rin sa inyo ang nagpapak na at this moment. Okay. So, maganda pag nasa stage na kayong ganun. Okay. Ano ba ang ipapak natin? Unang-una, before kayo magpak, make sure that you have disinfected the materials because this will reach the learners and we want to ensure their health and safety also. Okay. Then, depending on the context or depending on your agreements in your community or in your school, the packets may be packed on a weekly or monthly basis. There are those who owe for monthly basis na packing or distribution uh, for cost efficiency. And they don't like to be exposing themselves to the virus no, every now and then. So, uh, especially for the far-flung areas, siguro monthly. Pero yung iba ay weekly and uh, wala naman pong problema doon. Okay? Then ensure the readiness, ano yung dapat na nandu doon, self-learning module, yun ang pinaka-importante. Kung meron pong supplement na audio at video, ay importante rin po yun. Para naman hindi puro module lang ang uh, hinaharap ng ating mga bata. Gusto rin nila ng mga visual and audio aids, no? And this will enhance their learning. Textbooks, please release if uh, this is needed in your lessons. Uh, guided by the guidelines no, on releasing textbooks to our learners, ensuring that they also return right after use. Then, uh, of course, your weekly home learning plans, and that is, again, what we're going to talk about for these two days. The feedback forms from the parents, the learners, and volunteers, these are very important because this will tell the teacher if there's progress uh, in the learners, if the parents are able to guide our learners, and if not, what will he or she do as a teacher? Kung meron bang volunteer, okay? kung okay ba ang treatment ng volunteer sa ating learner, kailangang makita rin yan ni teacher through the feedback forms. And isa pang naidagdag, yung individual monitoring plan. Dito ilalagay ni teacher yung intervention plans niya 
for a learner na may academic challenges. So, hindi lahat ng learners ay mayroong individual monitoring para lang ito sa mga na-observe natin na may academic challenges. E aside from the weekly home learning plan, ay prepare natin sila ng individual monitoring plan for the intervention uh, activities no? that our parents will provide for these learners who need more guidance. Okay, then the ayan, ito na yung uh, dapat gawin natin before na i-distribute natin yung mga packets. You orient your parents. Okay? Orient them on their roles and responsibilities as facilitators of their child's or ward's learning relative to distance delivery. Ensure them also that you are there to support them. Give them the schedule when, when they can call you when they can communicate with you and how and where they can communicate with you. Then uh, give them strategies also in priming their own children. How are they supposed to prepare their children for this new normal? Then uh, please orient them also on the contents of the instructional packets. They must know what is inside. Hindi lang natin ibibigay sa kanila tapos pahala na silang mag-discover no, we have to describe to them what are in the pockets. And if there are volunteers that are available in the community, please introduce them to, this, to the parents because there might be parents who will be needing them uh, in this uh, endeavor. And of course, other pieces of information that are significant for dissemination. Okay. Um, may we remind you that we do this prior to opening. Hindi po siya sa October 5 gagawin, kundi prior to opening. Dito na rin po isasabay yung project resilience natin, no? yung priming, psychosocial priming of our parents. So if this is prior to opening, it should be September 29 or 28 to October 2. So na yung distribution, no? school on wheels, tinawag nating school on wheels. So depending on your agreements, um, you can tap the community, you can tap the barangay or any LGU that is near you or any volunteer in the community. Volunteer talaga, no? Volunteer sa mga ating uh, ini-implore dito dahil wala po tayong pondo. Okay? Kung meron naman pong uh, teachers or yung mga applicants, then they may volunteer. Uh, we're just waiting for the guidelines, no? For particularly for our no, teacher applicants who would like to volunteer. Uh as uh, facilitators or as uh, the ones to deliver instructional packets. For your information, we have partnered formally already. We have a MOA with Procor, with BJMP, with BFP, with the Army to deliver no, the instructional packets. So at your own levels already, please tap this uh, personnel. Kasi meron na po tayong MOA with them. You can now tap them. They have already been informed through the regional uh, authorities. Okay? So please, wag kayo mahiya. If they are there, tap them. Especially yung ating PROCOR, they were the first ones to offer help. Yung ating education, maraming education graduates sa PROCOR. No? Even sa BJMP, you can tap them. They can even uh, be facilitators okay? or magbigay ng instruction sa ating learners. The parents and guardians may get instructional packets directly from the school, observing health protocols, number one yan. And please do not allow your learners to get or to, to uh, submit the packets to the school, even if their houses are very near your school. According to IATF yes. guidelines, those below 21 years of age are not allowed to go out. So please do not do that. We saw that in the pilot testing. And we're reminding you every now and then, please do not allow that. Okay, for actual learning delivery, this is the most exciting. Now we want to see how learning will take place already in the home. Okay, but prior to that, we have to ensure that our children are safe, healthy, and they are in a conducive learning home. Safe talaga sana sila, no? Walang uh, nangyayaring hindi maayos. Otherwise, I accountability pa rin natin sila no, as our learner. Then uh, there should be interaction between the parents and the guardians. Yun yung ni-remind natin kanina, no? Between the, 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 I mean, between the learning week or between the learning days, talagang sana open yung communication between you and the parents. Dahil alam natin kailangan nila ang guidance, no? 
kailangan ng ating parents ang guidance in guiding their own children in learning. In the case of online classes, screen time for learners shall be strictly followed. There's, there is, uh, meron po tayong, meron nakikita natin nakapost no, sa Facebook na screen time, allowed screen time for learners, one hour for kinder and four hours for the senior high school. And retrieval of instructional packets, sa so kung anong napag-agrean sa distribution, ganun din sa retrieval. And of course, yung feedback mechanisms, napakahalaga po ng feedback, no? Sana hindi ito kakaligtaan ng ating mga teachers. Kung gaano ka-importante yung actual learning delivery, ay napakahalaga rin ng feedback. Dahil dito natin malalaman kung nagpo-progress yung ating learners o kung kailangan ni parent ng tulong sa paggagabay ng kanyang anak. Or kung kailangan ni volunteer ng tulong rin, okay? If there's progress, please comment. Okay? Hindi lang tayo nag-feedback na for improvement. Pero nag-feedback rin tayo for commendation. No? Praise them if there is a, a good uh, uh, good accomplishment no? based on the packets that they have submitted to you. And uh, we're seeing this as an immediate, uh, to be done immediately. No? So if you're if you're retrieving all the modules or all, all the packets on a Friday, you scrutinize on a Saturday and then please give the feedback earliest on a Monday and latest on a Tuesday. Okay? Yeah, you heard it right. Saturday I included no sa ating uh, sa ating calendar nakasama po ang Saturday uh, as a class day. We work we are congesting on ba yun? We are compressing the school days because kahit bilangin ninyo until June uh, 16 kulang pa rin po yung 200 something no na school days. So we're including Saturday but that is for you. Uh, to scrutinize the modules. Then, okay. So, tapos na tayo sa flow. Ano bang laman ng Regional Memo 236? For your information and so that you'll be interested to upload it, nandito po yung compendium ng learning competencies for special education dahil wala po tayong MELCs <clears throat> na galing sa CO <clears throat> for special education. And so, our uh, focal for SPED prepared uh, these competencies with the SPED team. And you will see that in the regional memo. It's an enclosure. Implementation of ALS also is there. Sample weekly home learning plans are there, <clears throat> aside from those that will be presented today. Then the project resilience, yung ating psycho, social, support activities for elementary and secondary. Ito yung mangyayari sana from September 28 to October 2. Priming the parents, ito yung parang handbook for our parents, priming our volunteer teachers, feedback forms, meron po tayo niyan na nakapaloob sa regional memo, pati na rin po yung individual monitoring plan, template, and then instructional supervision uh, for our school heads, monitoring YouTube channel, no? this is uh, named Domino. This is where our uh, learning and professional series po natin, doon po naka-upload yung project resilience. Okay? So, please upload, share. These are educational. Dami no po ang uh, pangalan ng ating YouTube channel. Anong change? Okay. So, before I end, before I end, I'll leave you three slides for our teachers. <clears throat> I hope you are already psychologically preparing yourself, not only uh, in preparing the modules, in preparing the weekly home learning plans, but you're really seeing your new role no, as teachers. Yung sinabi ni Ma'am kanina, no? uh, kung noon ay face-to-face -face ang ating interaction with our learners, ngayon ay face-to-face -face na pero virtual. Ay remote, hindi man uh, virtually, ay remote na interaction at alam nating maraming challenges ito but uh, i hope we are preparing ourselves for this no reminders lang we ensure our health and safety also if you and uh, if you have health uh, conditions that are then please tell your school head 
and uh, work from home na lang, no? But then, ourselves not on, not already the sage on the stage, hindi na tayo ang bida. Tayo na lang ang authors, script writers, no? tayo na lang ang magde-design ng learning at ang ating parents at learners ang totoong actors. Unlearn old habits and acquire new skills in engaging learning. Kung noon ay uh, negative tayo sa technology, siguro ngayon kailangan tanggapin na natin. We have to learn the basics because this will already be the new normal for us. Always be in touch with the parents and guardians. Kung noon ay madalang na nakikipag-usap tayo sa mga parentes, la, tinatawag lang natin sila kapag PTA, ngayon talagang magiging uh, regular na ang ating interaction with them. Then, let us not ask more from our parents since some of them have less formal education. Tayo ay parents din, so we have to understand one another. No, um, If uh, there are times that... Uh, our learners are not able to submit the tasks because the parents were not able to guide them, then perhaps uh, that's where our intervention will come in. Even for those with formal education, there has to be adjustments pa rin. Kahit sabi natin na edukado tayo, as parents, meron pa rin adjustments because uh, uh, most of us were not trained or most of our parents were not naman trained no, to teach like uh, we were trained to, to, to teach no? the children. If you detect a problem, design interventions, ito po yung itadagay natin sa individual monitoring plan. Then openness to adjustments, flexibility in class schedules, flexibility not compromising quality. Okay? So like I, I have mentioned a while ago, kung hindi nakapagpasa si learner ng uh, uh, accomplishment for the week, <clears throat> then try to learn or try to know, investigate back it. There might be problems or issues and your intervention is very much needed. What we aim for, what are our goals? Yan, flexibility, positive attitude, and innovation. Now, ever since the lockdown, we have already been thinking of how learning could be possible. <clears throat> and there are innovation sets in. And of course, teamwork is very much needed among us as a school and with our parents and the community. Teamwork with the community is very much needed now. Kailang talagang, uh, ano to, hikayatin na natin ang tulong ng komunidad. And health and safety, of course, is our priority. Okay, may I leave you with this uh, quotation from Marley, what matters most in a child's life is their family. Not their school and certainly not their technology. Connections matter more than connectivity. And of course, safety first by Isabel. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Ma'am Carmel. Our sincere gratitude for the enlightenment in the implementation of distance learning, the Delivery. So we are more guided and have clear direction comes the opening of the school year 2020-2021 on October 5, 2020. So so that we will also be guided on how so that we'll also be guided on what we are going to prepare during the start of the classes. May I introduce to you our second resource speaker to capacitate us on aligning the home learning plan, a sample learning plan for the key with the developed self-learning modalities to be presented to us by the education program supervisor for TLE. So she had been a teacher, a master teacher. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Jonaline Ambrona. Ma'am Jona.
Hello. Ayan. Susi siya. Ayan niya yung isa. Okay. Um, hello, good morning. Good morning, Madam Claire. Meron na? Good morning, Ma'am Jona. Uh, medyo hindi ko masyadong maririnig. Saglit lang po, ha? Okay. Okay na tayo. Hello? Okay. Okay, okay na? Um, parang hindi ko masyadong naririnig. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Sige. Ayan. Okay. So, um, good morning, fellow educators. How are you po? Yeah, to all our participants in this platform, and of course, to those who are tuned in right now at our FB page, uh, the Deped Cordillera Help Desk or LR Help Desk, and of course, to uh, the YouTube link that we gave, uh, blessed morning to all of us. Ano po? So, uh, we only have three weeks more before the opening of classes. Uh, yeah, no? So, kumusta po tayo with that uh, three weeks lang na na, uh, ano, na meron tayo no, for the opening of classes? So, how do we feel right now po? Anong pakiramdam natin with that three weeks? Are we all set? Yeah, o oh, sige. Uh, before I start, uh, Sir Warley, may you present na? Okay. So, ayan. So, of course, uh, before we formally start, let me know first how you feel, ano? So let us know how you feel so that we know uh, what to do naman dito sa uh, regional office, ano po? Okay, so let, let us wait for our presentation to be presented by Sir Warley. Nakikita na po ba sa kabila? Yeah, okay. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, no? Uh, you will see in the monitor yung ating uh, emoticons. Tama po. Nakikita niyo po bang lahat? Uh, sige. Uh, alam ko wala magro-respond. But anyway, uh, I am uh, also looking at our chat pane in case you would like to share something. Uh, do not hesitate po to write, no? Kasi nakikita ko rin po yung ating uh, chat pane dito. In, in case you would want to share something or you say something, uh, just let me know po so that I would recognize you to speak. Ano po? So once again, may we remind everyone to please mute your microphone if you're not going to speak but of course if you want to share something uh, mm -hmm. let me know or uh, you may click mm -hmm. po yung hand raise po dito sa atin no uh, raise your hand so that i know that uh, someone would want to uh, speak okay so ayan so uh, before i formally mm -hmm. present my my discussion uh, like what i've said a while ago let me know po how you feel okay so we have here the uh, emoji Emoticons. Ano po, naka-flash sa ating monitor ngayon yung ating uh, um, emoticons. Ngayon, uh, I want you to share kung alin po doon yung nararamdaman ninyo. Are you happy, sad, sick, excited, or uh, confused? Ano po? So, our chat pane is open if you want to share para malaman po namin kung ano yung nararamdaman ninyo. But of course, with that, after po na ilagay ninyo yung pakiramdam ninyo, like for example, you have, you're sad. Give us a reason, no? Just one word or a phrase po. Pakilagay doon sa ating chat pane. But anyway, para naman meron tayong maririnig na interaction dito, I'll be calling to to share. Ano po? From the, from the group. Okay? So, ayan. Uh, let me know how you feel right now using that emoticons that we have there. Wala pa po ako nakikita sa chat pane natin ng nararamdaman natin. Pakilagay lang po. Are you sad or happy? And give us a reason, no? One word or a phrase po na reason. Like for example, happy. Why happy? Ano, ano yung rason natin? Kasi you are well prepared. Parang ganun siya. Ano po? Okay, so this time I'll be calling two from the group para may marinig ako. Uh, so far, wala pa ako nakikita sa chat pane natin na nagsishare. Ano po? Ayan. I hope, hope na yung, yung ishare natin, yung first column na nasa row one. Ano po? Ayan. So let me call from the from the group. Saglit lang. I'll be calling uh, from our participants to share. Uh, siguro I'll be calling one lang or two. Ganon. Ayan. So para naman meron tayong active dito na uh, uh, interaction. No? Ayan. So let me hear from uh, Ma'am Olivia Dumanas. 
Okay, Ma'am Olivia, can you share to us how do you feel right now po with that emoticons that we have there? Ma'am Olivia, are you there? Yeah, Ma'am Olive, you're raising your hand. Okay, you're now given the permission to share, Ma'am Olive. How do you feel right now and give us a reason why po? Hello, ma'am. Ma'am Olive. Ayan, nawala siya. O, sige, another na lang po. May I call on Ma'am Reyna Changiwan? Ma'am Reyna. Okay, Ma'am Reyna, you are now given the permission to share. Ah, ah medyo wala pa rin. O, another. Naka-hand raise po tayo, Ma'am Esther. Hello po, kumusta ang Bagyo? Nawa na nga makapalito niya talaga. Hello, Ma'am Esther. Parang, ay, wala ako. Ako naririnig. Hello, Ma'am Jona. Uh, Esther, paki-unmute po. Ayan. Tama ba? Okay na? Parang hindi ko naririnig. Wala na? Okay. Yes po. Okay na, Ma'am ma Esther. Sige. Uh, how do you feel right now, Ma'am? Um, si Ma'am Esther po ay school head po natin sa Baguio. Ah, sige. Uh, how do you feel right now, Ma'am? With that Thank feeling you, ma lang po na natitira sa atin. Hello, yes, Ma. Uh, right now, Ma'am Jona, I am slightly worried due to, of course, <laughs> the availability of the self-learning modules in the portal. Okay. Uh, I am... Uh, anong tawag doon? Happy, slightly happy because uh, happy. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, we are ready for the reproduction. Ano? Kasi uh -huh. materials are already there. Yun na nga lang kasi yung i-re-reproduce natin modules. Kulang pa tayo. Uh, thinking of the September 14 na distribution ng modules natin. Okay, yun po. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank so, thank you, ma'am. So, again, uh, slightly happy daw si ma'am because of the uh, SLMs natin. Ano po, we understand that po. No? So, nabanggit po ang SLM. So, another to share po, may I call on Sir Antonio Humiliwat. Okay. Gentleman this time, Sir Antonio. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. Medyo maingay yung, yung background mo. Ah, mukhang <laughs> marami kayo dyan. Ah, sige, sir. Okay. Sige, sir. How do you feel right now? Ah, from what division, sir? From what division are, are you? If you go, ma'am. Ah, uh, if you go, sir, a school head, master teacher. Teacher, teacher one lang, ma'am. Ah, okay. No, wag mo ilang yun, sir. Teacher one. Okay? Sige. Uh, please share to us, sir, how do you feel right now? Ah, uh, quite excited, ma'am, kasi... Oh, wow. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang mangyayari sa October 5, actually. Ayan. So, excited siya dahil hindi niya alam yung mangyayari. Ano po? So, ayan, medyo confused si sir, no? Uh, siguro ito ang bagay sa iyo, yung column 2, row 2, ano po, yung may salamin. Nakangiti, pero madilim yung mata, ano po. Ayan, so ayan, so thank you, Sir Antonio. Ayan, there, yung sharing natin. Uh, I hope na may mga nag-share po, no, sa chat pane because later on, we will be uh, reading po yung mga sharings ninyo kasi para malaman din namin dito sa regional office kung ano po ang pakiramdam natin at the moment at kung ano po yung pinakarason. Ang gusto ko pong makita talaga is kung ano yung pinakarason natin, no, although wala pa ako nakikita dito sa ating chat pane. Ayun. Uh, meron ba? Ayan, mukhang walang, walang gusto ma...
Hello ma'am, hindi po kayo marinig. Wala po kami naririnig mula sa speaker. Hello, good morning. Okay na, naririnig na po. Pasensya, no? Uh, technical glitches talaga. But anyway, let us, uh, let us proceed. As I said a while ago, uh, of course, I hope that after our training or after this session, uh, we'll be able to help you feel better. Ano po? So kung medyo confused kayo, medyo sad with that of uh, uh, weekly learning plan and modules natin, I hope that after this, you will feel better. Ano po? Okay. So, paano ba ito? Hindi ko nakikita yung presentation, Sir, ano? Sir Warley? Nakapresenta tayo? Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Sige. <laughs> Ayan. Of course, uh, we have here, no, our... Our session for today, we have here our topic, Ensuring Teachers Mastery on the Parts and Contents of Weekly Home Learning Plan and Self-Learning uh, Module. Okay, so, uh, andyan po, no, yung, yung main topic natin, the Weekly Home Learning Plan and the Self-Learning uh, Module natin. So, uh, tignan natin kung ano yung mga susunod na i-discuss natin with this one. So, let's move on. Yeah, so we have here our terminal objective. At the end of the session, participants shall be able to enhance their level of mastery on the parts and contents of weekly home learning plan and self-learning module. And moving on, specifically, yeah, we have there at the end of the session, participants shall be able to understand the considerations in developing weekly home learning plan in the delivery of distance learning. So, in here, I'll be presenting to you the parts no, and contents of our weekly home learning plan along with that uh, self-learning module. And of course, second objective natin, we have aligned weekly home learning plan with the developed self-learning module. So, in here, uh, we've prepared sample weekly home learning plan and it is aligned on the developed na self-learning module natin and uh, our uh, supervisors here at the region will be presenting it to you later. Okay, and as expected po, you're expected to at least develop your own po, no? But uh, we encourage you to make naman yung weekly learning plan natin for week 2. Kasi gumawa po kami ng para sa week 1 so that you will be guided properly. And the last one, uh, for you to show high level of confidence in developing and presenting weekly home learning plan that is aligned to the self-learning modules. So in this part, uh, we are going to, uh, you are going pala, not me, no? You are going to present naman your uh, developed self, uh, weekly home learning plan that is aligned to the SLMs that you are uh, holding or that you prepared. So that is for week two na po tayo, no? So you expect that you will be having that later on as part of our uh, presentation. Okay, so let's now uh, start formally with our discussion. Uh, of course, we have here, no? Para medyo meron tayong interaction pa rin. I have here one word for you. Okay? We okay. arrange po siya and we are going to arrange it. So, ito are uh, disassembled no words natin, no? 
Uh, all you have to do is to rearrange po. Ayan, may nagtaas na ng kamay. Ma'am Rosanna Dison po. What is that number one? Objective. Yeah, Ma'am Ma Dison. Objective. Ikaw yung na nag-flash sa ating ano. Ay, sorry ma'am. Objective. Objective po ma'am. Saling po sa lang po ako dito. Ay, parang wala ka na. Yeah, objective. Objective po. Yes, po. Aya objectives. Ayan. So, thank you. Tama po si ma'am. Okay, number two, Sir Warley. Let us see. Number two. Okay, nauna si ma'am Tere. Ma'am Teresita Baltazar. What's that number two? Ma'am Baltazar, nauna ka. Ano po yan? What is that word na na-rearrange po? Christian. Uh, again? <laughs> Sige ma'am, another chance. I'll give you another chance. Okay, Ma'am Fatima, mag-steal. mag, -steal? mag -steal si Ma'am Fatima. Okay, si Ma'am Agnes. Ma Agnes. Pretest, Ma'am. Pretest. Okay, pretest. Okay, so thank you. Uh, tama po, that's a pretest. Uh, number three, Sir Warley. Let us see what's uh, the next word. Okay. Uh, Sir Kalikal. Nauna si Sir Kalikal, what is that? Sir Kalika. Okay. May gustong mag-steal? O Ma'am Agnes ulit? Review, Ma'am. Review. Okay, okay, very good. That's review. Tama po. Pag-upload number four. Ayan. Uh, Ma'am Ayo? Sagit lang po. No patient. Medyo maingay tayo. Uh, excuse me. Alala, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, wait children, masyado tayo excited. Wait po, ayan. Okay, medyo maingay po tayo, no? May, may mga background na maingay. Pakimute muna po. mag unmute lang po tayo as I call po your name. Ano po? Ayan. So, kung sino po yung mauna mag-flash dito sa hand raise na, na option, yun po ang tatawagin po. Ano po? Okay. Meron pa rin na ingay. Okay. Sige. Paki-off po natin lahat muna yung ating mic natin. Sige. Lahat po tayo. Okay. Paki-check nga po. Lalong-lalo na yung may hawak lang ng, ng, ng cellphone. Okay. Paki-mute paki muna po. Para magkaintindihan tayo. Okay. Ayan, meron pa din. Uh, you unmute po once na tinawag ko po yung pangalan natin. Klaro po ba sa atin yun? Nako, na nafe-feel ko na mag-online class ako na teacher. Ano, ganito pala to. Magsasaway na lang ako the whole hour. Okay, but anyway, let's proceed. Ayan, number four. Uh, Sir Dwight. Milan. What's the word? Okay. Motivation. Motivation. Yeah. Motivation. So, tama, uh, sir. Yeah. How, yeah, tama, sir. Yeah. We heard you right. Motivation. Number five. <laughs> Sorry. Number five, Sir Warley. Oh, what is that? Passion. Uh, <laughs> sir Dwight Ulet. Okay. Discussion. So, tama si sir. Discussions with S. Ano po? Okay, another word, ah, sige, tignan natin, Sir Warley, kung ano-ano yung mga words na nabuo natin kanina with that five. Sige, ayan, hindi, pakituloy lang, Sir Warley, okay, number six. Okay, ayan, Sir Tomas, siya yung nauna. Ano po yun, Sir Tomas? Unmute? What is the word? Mastery. Yeah, mastery. Mastery, ma'am. Tama po, sir, yeah, I, I heard you right, sir. Okay, paki-unmute na po. Ah, mute pala ulit. Okay, number seven natin, a word. Ayan, medyo mahaba-haba to. Uh, Ma'am Pauline. Generalization. Uh, generalization, tama po. Okay. Uh, ayan, number eight natin, a word. Uh, Ma'am Dison ulit, Ma'am Osang. Number eight, wala, pa, wala pa yung word, Ma'am. <laughs> Ayan, ma'am. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yes. Ma'am, nagbaba. Ayoko nang sagutin niya. Kanina ako. Sagot. Ah, sige. Still ni ma'am Agnes. Ma'am Agnes, it's your turn. Application. Yeah, application. Tama. Okay. Number nine. What's the word? Ano, ano kaya ito? 
Ah, Ma'am Fatima. Yes. Ha? Ay, yeah. Yes. Okay, sino yun? <laughs> ah, sige. Post test, post test. Okay, post test. So, tama po. Post, post test. test. And then number 10, we have... Generalization. Unknown number 7. Oh, Ma'am, sagot na, sagot na po si number 7. Number 10 na po tayo. Number 10. Ma'am Ma Rosana. Ma'am Rosana. Enrichment. 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 Okay, very good po. So, tama po yun. Parang si Ma'am Annie yung narinig ko na po. You have their enrichment. So, uh, let's see the next slide. Ano may the next slide natin. Ayan. So, these are the words that we arranged. Ano po? So, we have objectives, pre-test, review, motivation, discussion. And ano yung remaining five natin? We have mastery, generalization, application, post-test, and enrichment. Ano po yung napapansin natin sa mga words that we have there? Okay. Ano po yung mga words ito? Saan natin ito makikita? Oh, Ma'am Amelia, you're raising your hand. Amelia. Okay, si Rolly naman tayo. Sige, laki tayo ngayon para hindi tayo magad. Si Rolly Bird. Ano yung napapansin po natin? Hello, Ma'am. Okay. Yes po. Yan yes, po yung mga nakikita natin sa module, Ma'am. Sa module. Ayan. Ayo advance na si sir. Ito daw yung nakikita niya sa module. Okay, ano pa po yung iba? Sige. Sampo po natin ito makikita. Okay. Uh, sige. Let us give chance to others naman. Uh, Ma'am Pauline, saan natin ito makikita pa? Okay. Uh, sige, try Ma'am Chang Chang E1. Ayan. Words na to. Yes po, Ma'am. Lesson plan, Ma'am. Ah, yes po. Ayan. Tama si Ma'am, no? So, you heard it right po. Sige, pwede na po makikiyot na po yung mga mic natin para magkaintindihan tayo ng maayos. Anyway, pag may concern kayo, just raise your hand. Nakikita ko po kung meron or if not po, you open your chat pane kasi I am also monitoring the chat pane. So, ayun, nak nakalagay doon lesson plan, weekly plan, parts of lesson plan, and lesson plan. So, tama po tayong lahat. All these words that we have here are actually parts of the Ayan, medyo may maingay pa rin. Okay na, ayan. Minute, na, nakamute na po lahat, no? Pag, okay, so, ganun po, no? You will, you will hear, pag nag-stop po ako, that means na-mute po lahat ng ating uh, mic. Pati po ako, na-mute na po kasi ang hirap na i-trace po ng ating ICT, ano po. Okay, so, Sir Warley, uh, wala tayong nakapresent, pa-present tayo ulit. Okay. Ayan, okay na. So, ayun po, no. Ang ginagawa po ng ating ICT support, ino-off po niya lahat, pati po ako. So, lahat po, nare-refresh po lahat. Ano po, kaya medyo hindi tayo na, na, natutuloy kahit kanina pa. So, ayan, please cooperate po dahil uh, limited lang po yung time na nabigay sa atin to have this one. So, um, eto na ba yung next na slide natin, sir, after that words? Ayan. So, we have here the words, no, kanina. Uh, as I've said, yung mga words po na yon, nakikita po natin yon sa DLL natin, even uh, in the previews, no, na practice natin. We gave, that, we gave that review, the motivation, the presentation of objectives, and others po. And even up to this time po, 
uh, are we still going to use that or totally new ba yung magiging setup natin sa weekly home learning plan? And even as to how we give that modular na distance learning. So, tignan po natin kung nabawasan ba, nadagdagan, or totally na-revise po, no? Yung parts na yun, or totally po, yung mga parts na nakita natin kanina ay totally wala na siya. Okay, so we have here the considerations in making our weekly home learning plan. So, alamin natin ano-ano po yung mga considerations na yun. Okay, so let's move on. Of course, before we present the considerations, we have here our legal basis po. No? So, this is these are our legal basis. So we have the regional memoranda or memorandum po. Ang dami nating uh, regional memorandum. At ang recent po is the RM236 series 2020. Yan yung part po nang na-present kanina ni Ma'am Carmel po, yung ating chief. Ano po? Okay, and in here, this is a book actually where you could see all the guidelines all the policies and all po that will that will guide you along the the ano to, the implementation of this distance learning modality and of course we have our deped orders we have dmci 2020-00162 and we have deped order number 12 series 2020 so these are our references po ano okay in case you have time please uh you may uh Anong tawag niyan? You may browse this. Okay, may nagre-raise ng kamay. Sir Rolly, is that uh, clarification? O oh, napindot lang. Okay, so wala pa tayong discussion, no? Ayan, so next, uh, let us now look into our, uh, anong tawag dyan? Uh, considerations. Ano-ano ba yung mga considerations na yun? Okay, so first, Na consideration natin would be our class schedule. Okay? Ayan. Mukha may nag-present na iba. Okay? Wala pa. Sige. So our first consideration would be our class schedule, no? So yung ating class schedule, uh, eto po ay makikita natin siya sa RM236 and we also see this po sa ating DMCI 2020. Okay? Yung 00162 po na na-present ko kanina, no? So you would see in here yung eto ay this uh, schedule is uh, for elementary uh, Sir Warley, nawawala ka? Ayan. So, you have there, no? Makikita natin siya na schedule natin for elementary at saka secondary and even po sa uh, senior high school po. Ngayon, sa kindergarten, later on, ipipresent po yan, but they are also given uh, that time po na 2 hours in the morning and uh, 2 hours in the afternoon. Okay. So, like for example, eto halimbawa for elementary and secondary, we have gym, yung morning natin, we have on Monday, English. Tuesday, Science, Math, EPP. Hanggang Thursday po yan. And in the afternoon naman, having the two, uh, having that time po, this is uh, 1 to 3 po yan, no? Sorry, that's 1 to 3. You have ESP, Araling Panlipunan, Filipino, and MAPE. Okay? So, you will see there, uh, bakit nawawala ka, Sir Warley? Wala na. Ayan. Okay. So, you will see in our class schedule, ano po, na Monday to Thursday, we are going to meet our learners, no? With that uh, learning areas. And on Friday po, that is the time for homeroom guidance, no? So, hintayin natin na i-flash on, but I know that uh, more or less, you've uh, browsed or you've already seen our schedule, no? So, on Friday, that would be our homeroom guidance, no? So, we have that time, homeroom guidance, and we have for the remaining time natin, 10.30 to 11.30, uh, if there are uh, online uh, extracurricular activities or meetings, then uh, that will be the time allotted for, for that, no? So, we still encourage the conduct of extracurricular activities kasi po ay na, na, nandyan pa rin yan sa ating memo, no? Naka-memorandum pa rin po siya. And we have here 
uh, making of portfolio. We understand that, uh, of course, meron tayong mga uh, outputs, output-based tayo ngayon, so they, we, the, the students or learners are going to make their portfolio during that time and for them to accomplish the feedback form together with their parents. So during this time po that they are going to do these things, at yung feedback form po natin for learner and parents are already included po sa ating RM236. And of course, after accomplishing all of this, then they are now going to submit the output, uh, hand in to the teacher through any volunteers po, no, that we identified for that matter, for the delivery and for for a retrieval po of their outputs. And of course, on Saturday, we have their teacher's time for paperwork. So, considered siya na, na class uh, day pa rin. However, ito ay time na for teacher uh, na gumawa ng kanyang mga uh, paperworks kung meron. Pero kung, kung medyo magaling mag-strategize si teacher, uh, pwede naman niyang gawin during uh, any po niya habang walang uh, learner or walang parent po na, na, na nagre-request ng kanyang assistance during her scheduled or his scheduled time. Okay, so that is our class schedule. So, uh, kung meron po tayong important na tanong, pwede po nating tanungin. Okay, may nag-hand raise kanina. Ayan. So, uh, pakiclick po yung raise your hand kung very important po yung tanong natin. But anyway, you can uh, write naman po sa ating chat pane. Ano po? Okay? So, ayan. So, kung makikita nyo sa schedule natin, 2 hours po yan. But that's imp that, that doesn't mean na strictly yun lang po kasi kulang talaga yung 2 hours natin for the delivery of learning. But of course, ito ay naka ano lang po siya for uh, organization ng, ng klase. Ano po, na halimbawa, during this time, 9.30 to 11.30, imimit po ni teacher yung kanyang learner kung may meron silang i-raise na question halimbawa sa, sa schedule niya or sa section na yon. So, Sir Kalikal, meron kang tanong? Sige. Uh, I will allow you po. You may now unmute. Okay. So, wala pa naman, no? Ayan. So, Ayan, naka, naka two hours pa siya but that doesn't mean na strictly two hours yan. Kasi kung titingnan po natin sa schedule natin, Monday morning, lahat po yan sa English. No? So, uh, ibig sabihin, the learner may, Sir Warley, nawala tayo ulit. Okay, so the learner may still, no? may still have that time ng morning, the whole morning po. Okay? Yun nga lang, yung time na naka-specify dyan na 2 hours, yan kasi is for online, should there be online classes, no? Okay, para yung time na yan, dun lang i-address ni teacher yung klase niya. Kung may query during that time, halimbawa, English lang sa section ko na to, halimbawa section coordination, yun lang yung allowed na magtatanong sa akin at yun lang yung klase na i-respond ko, no? Okay, so you have there. So another consideration, Sir Warley, let us see. Okay, and of course, we have here the parts of the self-learning module and having our RM91 as a basis for the parts. We have here our ADM na module na ginagamit natin. Okay, ano-ano yung mga parts that we have there? Okay, let us see kung ano-ano yung mga parts natin. Ayan, so we have here the, the parts. Alam po, alam natin yan kasi we've been making our uh, self-learning module and for school heads naman, We've been checking or we've been uh, assuring the quality of the self-learning module developed by our uh, teachers. So we have in here, the first part would be what I need to know. Okay, so what I need to know in uh, uh, Filipino, that is alamin. Okay, so that part, what I need to know and alamin, that would be our objective. Okay, so you recall the terms that we have a while ago. At tignan natin kung saan natin siya if fit in. Ano po? Okay, what I need to know. So in here, we have the alamin. Okay, and we have here the what I know. Uh, anyway, ipipresent ko po later. I'll discuss it further. Tignan muna natin yung mga parts niya. Ano po? So what I know, that is subukin. In Filipino, we have what's in. That is balikan. We have what's new. That's tuklasin. What is it? Suriin. What's more, you have pagyamanin. 
What I have learned is a ESIP. What I can do is a gawa. You have assessment that's tayahin. Additional activities natin, karagdagang gawain. And you have the answer key, susi sa pagwawasto. Okay, so these are the parts. Now, uh, tignan natin, let's study them deeper. Okay, sa next slide natin, uh, malalaman natin kung ano yung specific na part na ito. So, we have in here, um, sige, Sir Calical, uh, would you like to share or ask something? Kasi you're raising your hand. Sir Aristotle. Okay. So, ayaw, ayaw naman niyang mag-share si Sir. Okay. Sige, I, I'll proceed na. So, the first part, uh, would be, ah, uh, sige, Ma'am Rosana, would you like to ask something? Ah, uh, okay. Sige, medyo napipindot po natin yata yung sharing na, na part. Uh, alam ko, that's unintentional. Uh, ayan, kaya nag-off po yung ating uh, presentation. Ano po? Ayan, uh, be careful po, baka nakiklik natin unintentionally yung ating uh, open share na tray na part. Okay, ayan, so wala sa ulit, Sir Warley. Uh, may nag-present na iba. Okay, please po, careful lang po tayo sa mga parts. Baka you're supposed to unmute, naklik nyo po si, si present. Napaki-stop po yung sharing natin. Ayan. Okay. So, how is that, Sir Warley? Pwede bang ilak natin tong portion na to? Nadi-disturb yung ating discussion? Ah, ayan. Uh, again, uh, fellow participants, please uh, be careful po not to click that share part, yung may button na arrow up. Ayan, kasi nadi-disturb po yung ating presentation here. Okay? So, okay na, Sir Warley? Wala pa? Wala pa naman. Ayan, so... Ha? Huh? Okay. So, ayan, nako. Uh, there are technical glitches, however, alam ko na, na makakarelate naman tayo with that self-learning module kasi we've been making our self-learning module, kaya more or less. However, ano po, no, uh, may mga naku-QA ako na dumadating dito sa region. Medyo iba yung presentation. Supposedly review, nag-start siya ng presentation ng lesson. Okay? So, yun po yung common. Kaya at least, uh, again, we have to look into this. Nawawala ka ulit, sir. May nag-present bang iba? Okay, so ayan. Alam ko na alam natin yung ating uh, parts na ito, what I need to know. So yan yung pinakauna, no? So you will see this after the cover page natin. Uh, in terms of format nyan, alam ko, iti-check po yan ng LR natin. But ang focus lang po natin ngayon is the content, not the format. Ano po? Take note po, I'm going to discuss with you yung SLM natin, yung parts and contents lang po, not the format. Kasi that's under LR po. Okay, so for the first part, what I need to know, you have there. This will give us an idea of the, the skills or competencies that are expected to be learned in the module. So, Shortly, ibig sabihin, ito ay yung ating objectives. Kanina, yun, doon sa mga words na inarrange po natin, you have there the word na objective. So, dito natin makikita sa part na to yung objectives. But of course, when we do QA or when we make our objectives, still, naka-anchor po siya sa LCs natin with codes plus Iyan po dapat ay meron pa rin tayong CPA na fina-follow. We still follow the cognitive kasi the cognitive is for the written tasks and we have the psychomotor that is for poor performance tasks and you have the affective. Okay? So yung affective natin is developing traits at yung traits na yun po ay nasa ating uh, QA tool po. Okay? And of course, to address yung ating core values. No, but of course, ang pinaka at most natin dito ay yung honesty ng mga bata no, na nadidevelop in this. And of course, the next one, you have what I know. This part would include the activity no, uh, to check the prior learning of uh, uh, the learner. Ano yung alam na niya, yung learner? 
Okay, malamang may prior learning siya doon sa topic na yon. So, in this part, we are going to uh, check that part. So, ano naman sa part na yon na nagkakaroon tayo ng, ng, ng what I know na part? We, we know this as our pre-test. Tama po? Okay, so ito yung tinatawag natin na pre-test natin. Kanina, meron tayong word on pre-test. So, dito siya papasok. No? Pre-assessment natin. Okay, so merong nakalagay doon na if you get all the answers correctly, you may decide to skip. However, we encourage the learner to still continue with the activities given there. Kasi po, they will be rated. No? Uh, remember, meron silang score sa performance task. Meron silang score para sa written task. So, kailangan pa rin po nilang i-accomplish kahit na na-perfect po nila yon. Okay, then what's in natin? A brief drill or review. So, kanina meron tayong word ulit na review. No po? So, kumbaga, ito nasa DLL din natin to in the past, no? In the, the, the previews. So, meron pa rin tayo dito, no? So, makikita natin yung mga parts na to are still nasa part pa rin ng DLL natin. Okay, with the previous one. So, ililink natin yung uh, previous lesson to the new lesson. Okay? So, kumbaga, may prerequisites kasi tayo sa mga discussions natin. So, it's good na ma-recall din yun ng mga bata. Okay? Then, of course, you have the what's new in this portion. Ito naman is introduction na ng lesson. However, ito is hindi pa siya yung formal na introduction. Kaso nga lang, we make it na uh, interactive yung ibibigay natin during this part. Kasi nga, ito ay motivation part. No? Ayan. Uh, may nagre-raise na hand ulit from PCNHS. Would you like to say something or ask something? Okay, so wala. Ayan. So, we have here no, yung ating, uh, we introduce the lesson na interactive siya dapat. So, ito yung motivation part natin. We may introduce the lesson uh, through a poem, a song, or a problem opener or any situational activity. Ano po? Ito is to steer the motivation of the learner to proceed with the formal lesson. So, yan po yun. So, uh, ibig sabihin natin, the what's new is simply our motivation. Yung motivation natin dapat related sa ating presentation. Like what I did kanina po, di ba? Yung ginawa ko kanina is uh, nagkaroon tayo ng jumbled word arrangement. So, yun po ang yung motivation natin na related sa ating topic. And di ba nakita nyo kanina how I presented it and how I connected it to the discussion that we will be having today. Okay. And the next one, you have the what is it. Ito naman yung section natin ng lesson proper na siya. So, dito na papasok yung term natin kanina sa ating activity na discussions. ba? Meron tayong in-arrange in kanina na word discussion. Dito po siya papasok sa what is it. Okay, eto, dito na dapat nakapresent yung lessons natin. Okay? So, sa module, uh, dapat ang module na ano natin ay uh, it, it still consider the different types of learners like may pictures tayo na visible to learners kasi nga may mga visual learners tayo no as we present the lesson kasi there are times na mas 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 maaaral natin yung lesson mas mamamaster natin yung lesson by merely looking at the illustration or the image kaya meron hindi nawawala yung mga pictures natin doon sa ating what is it na part no sa main topic natin or if not naman magkakaroon tayo ng link no ng video uh, if in case magkakaroon tayo ng online class or if not naman halimbawa binidyo ko yung sarili ko as i'm as i'm demonstrating how to bake halimbawa lang binidyo ko yung sarili ko isi-save ko siya sa USB then nakalagay doon sa ating what is it okay so yun po siya okay and then of course you have the what's more naman this comprises activities for independent practice. How is this? The what's more is for mastery. No, my word tayo kanina na mastery. Okay. After presenting the lesson, na master ba ng bata yung lesson mo? So this part, the what's more would tell us, would help us assess if they were able to understand or comprehend the skills or the uh, the knowledge. Ano po? Okay. So ito po yun. 
So dito sa what's more natin expected na dapat meron tayong for for concept and for skills. Kung meron kang skills na present at least kaya mong i-check dito during that this part. Okay, through a video presentation, ang demonstration natin or yung USB natin na sinave natin, no? Okay, and then we have the what I have learned naman, what I have learned. Ito yung part naman wherein we check the learn the, the, the learning of the uh, the learner. So in short, ito, kung kayang isummarize ng learner yung, yung lesson, ito na siya. So what I, what I have learned, simply generalization po siya. So, naintindihan po natin, no? What I have learned that that will summarize the lesson and that will generalize the lesson by giving a question, no? Pwede tayong mag-post ng question wherein uh, leading to summarizing the lesson or pwede naman na a blank sentence or a paragraph na paragraph na fill in ng, ng bata. Okay, for us to, to, to see, uh, to really see or check yung kanilang uh, concept na uh, natutunan. Okay? And then, what I can do, you have here our application part. No? So, kanina, may word din tayo na application. And even in our DLLB4, meron tayong application na part. ba? Okay, so dito naman is uh, they are going now to put into practice yung knowledge na natutunan nila through a skill. No? So, gagawa sila. So, eto na this is the part of the performance task, di ba? We are we have that sa 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 grading nila before the performance task at meron din tayo diyan sa LC natin, no? Sa MELC natin at sa CG meron tayong performance uh, standard and we have the content standard. Kaya meron tayo dapat performance task to address the the performance standard and we have the written task, the concept yon to answer naman yung ating uh, written uh, ano to? Content standard. Okay. So, naintindihan po ba natin yon? So, what I can do simply means application. Okay. Assessment. Assessment, alam naman natin, evaluation ng kanilang mastery. No? Kung uh, ano ba, uh, na master ba nila, were they able to get 80% of uh, the, 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 the lesson or hindi? So, di ba meron tayong evaluation ito sa ating DLL before. Okay? Uh, yung rubrics natin, that is for performance, no? And then, yung formative natin, like in the form of multiple choice na questions natin, written questions, these are naman for uh, written uh, tasks naman siya. Okay? And then, we have for additional activities. Ito naman, ano ang additional activities natin? Sa DLL natin, meron tayong tinatawag na intervention, tama, or remediation, or enrichment. So, additional activity, in case hindi suffice yung score ng bata sa assessment, mababa yung nakuha niya, then the additional activity would help, would supplement. So, we call it the enrichment, or we call it, kumbaga, doon sa old na, na DLL natin, meron tayong uh, intervention na tinatawag. Okay? So, ayan. And then you have the answer key, Ayan, even before meron tayong answer key pero may nagtanong di remove this para ma-insure ma natin na na honest talaga yung sagot ng bata. Hindi po kasi that's part of it. However, uh, yan yung kailangan nating i-instill sa bata, no? yung honesty nila in answering. Okay, lalo-lalo na sa parents natin kasi they would be the one to instill this, no? to see that uh, the, their uh, word really are honest no? in answering the uh, or in accomplishing the module. Okay, so these are the parts. No, ulitin natin ulit. What I need to know, objective. What I know. Yes, Ma'am Wanda, medyo napindot mo yata. Medyo maingay. Okay, yan. Nag-mute ulit po si Sir. Na-mute tayo lahat ulit. Kaya nag-stop din yung kanyang presentation. Okay. So, ayan, Sir Warley, pa-present ulit. Okay, so you have there the parts. Ulitin natin. Yung first part natin is you have what I need to know. Okay, so yung what I need to know, that is the 
uh, objectives, no? And then the next part, Sir Warley, wala pa? Wala pa. The next part is uh, what I know. Tama? Marikol pa natin. So the first one, the first part is what I need to know. That is the objective. What I need to know, that uh, what I know I mean, that is, wala pa. What I know that is the pre-assessment, no? Na tinatawag natin. Ayan, pasensya, wala akong copy nung aking, ano, but still I can recall it. Okay, so ulitin natin what I need to know, uh, what I know, what's in, yeah, the what's in, this is the review, okay? What's new, uh, Sir Warley, baka pwedeng pa back up? Ah, para ano? Okay. Sige, what's new? You have there the motivation. What is it? The lesson proper. What's more? Mastery. What I have learned? Summary or generalization. What I can do? Application. Assessment. That is evaluation of the learning. Additional activity. That's enrichment. Okay? And then the answer key. Ayan. So let's move on, Sir Warley. I hope na... Ayan. Of course, another consideration natin in making our weekly home learning plan would be the de delivery modality. So we have here the, the different distance learning uh, delivery modalities. Ito ay nandun sa ating DMCI 0162-2020 natin. Okay? So we have here yung modular natin. Uh, siguro ito yung most common sa ating lahat, no? Uh, yung modular distance learning modality. So meron tayong dalawa dyan. Digital siya. Digital ibig sabihin na convert into digitized form yung module natin at yun yung we call it na DMDL. Okay, and then we have the printed naman. Ito yung as is talaga siya na, na module talaga, no? Na printed. Okay, alimbawa yung ganito natin. So we have there our uh, printed na modular. And you have the online distance learning. Online natin is ito through uh, yung mga LMS na identify Kasi alam ko may mga, uh, may mga classes o may mga school na nagbigay ng option for online, no? Like yung pamangkin ko, I chose online. Okay, so yan. And then you have the TV or radio-based instruction. I believe meron din tayo uh, mga divisions who opted to have this one as part of the distance learning modality. You have the blended distance learning. So blended distance learning, any combinations of those that we have there, the A, B, or the uh, C. Okay, so ito yung ating reference, the DMCI 2020-00162. Okay, for you to further uh, browse on it. Ano po? Okay, so next natin, uh, ito na yung ating weekly home uh, learning plan. So ano-ano yung parts na meron dito? Okay, so let us see. So for the parts of weekly home learning plan, we have uh, day and time, that's for English. And then we have naman for Filipino, araw at oras. Uh, of course, ito yung two hours na nakaalat natin. You have the learning area, you have the eight learning areas that we have. That's a signatura. Okay, the learning competencies natin, kasanayang pang pagkatuto. You have the learning tasks, yeah, uh, that is the gawain sa pagkatuto. And then, mode of delivery naman natin, alternatibong pamamaraan ng pag-aaral. So, okay. so, tignan natin kung ano-ano nga ba ito mga ito. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so we have here a sample na, na nagawa natin. Ayan, so para ma, mas maintindihan natin ng yung part na to at saka yung content niya. So day and time natin, di ba, nakalagay po dyan. Yung time pa rin natin, 9 to 3, but that doesn't mean during that time lang, no? Still, we instill uh, sa, sa mga bata na since the whole morning would be to a certain learning area, so yun siya. So for the resiliency part, sa part ng orientation natin, we have orientation and resiliency and on instruction in the afternoon. So that's for week one, alam ko, uh, ito yung part ng ating PFA. Ano po? Okay. Uh, next natin, another sample natin there. For week two natin, or this is na the, ano, the, the, the lesson na. Kanina, orientation siya. Yan, yan yung part ng PFA natin. So ito naman, uh, we have this part. Uh, ito may binigay tayong situation, no? Uh, Ipipresent ko, situation A, the learner has laptop or computer or laptop and with internet connectivity at home. Ito ay understood na online siya. However, alam ko walang magpupure na online. 
pwede lang siguro ang blended, online at saka offline. Okay, so ito sa time natin, 2 hours pa rin siya, but that doesn't mean na during that time lang. No? Like sinasabi nga natin, the whole morning is 40 LE. Okay? Pero kung imimit natin yung bata during this time, 9.30 to 11.30, halimbawa meron tayong online na schedule ng klase. Halimbawa ito, kasi blended siya, di ba? Nakikita nyo po sa mode of delivery, online at saka offline siya. So tignan natin kung paano siya ititreat. No? With this schedule. So you have here, the learning area is PXD. Okay, you have the learning competence. Yung learning competence. Okay, may maingay ulit. Uh, Pakimute po. Ayan. Sige. Uh, you have there, yung learning competency natin, ito yung nasa milk natin. However, hindi po lahat ng learning area ay merong milk. Like for us in TLE, some of our specializations doesn't have yet the, uh, or don't have yet the uh, milks. So kung wala po, they can still use the CG2016 kasi yung basis po ng milk naman natin is the CG2016. Okay. Medyo merong batang umiiyak, medyo nagmumultitask yata yung ibang participants natin. Ano po? Okay, paki-off naman yung ano natin, mic natin. Ayan, so uh, you have there, uh, yung learning competencies natin, nandiyan siya. And dapat po ilagay natin yung code. No, with code po siya dapat. So yun, nakalagay, with code. However, diba, if you know how to read codes, Diba, ang titignan natin, nandun yung subject, nandun yung year level or grade level, tapos, andoon yung uh, week, uh, yung quarter niya at saka week. So, ito yung nakikita natin sa codes. Now, uh, for some, yung codes po natin ay hindi siya nakaset. Okay? So, yung ibang codes po natin ay hindi siya nakaset dahil ito ay taken from the original code po ng CG. So mamaya po meron tayong sample presentation noon na ipipresent po ni Sir Pat no yung case po nila medyo nagkaroon yata ng reshuffling doon sa kanilang uh, learning competencies siguro yung ibang learning competencies sa quarter 2 minus ng quarter 1 kaya you disregard the code uh, yung reading ng code however kailangan ilagay dito because because some na ano natin na, na learning area na follow rin nila yung code nila nagbawas lang kumbaga naka anong tawag doon in order pa rin siya like week 1 uh, Q1 week 1 uh, Roman numeral 1 uh, A or B that's the week tama po ba sa ating coding ano po at yun yung titignan ng mga school heads natin kasi if we are really following that code na tama ba are we now on week 1 quarter 1 so dapat makikita ng school head natin dito sa code yun. But if not, we double check with mail kung hindi siya na-follow. Ano po? Okay, sa so learning task naman natin, these are the tasks that are to be undertaken or accomplished by the learner. Okay. Meron pa rin naka-unmute. Naka uh, hindi natin, hindi ko matrace dito kung sino. Please pakimute po. Ayan. So, sa learning tasks natin, uh, ito na yung expected na gagawin ng bata. Kaya kung titignan natin sa lesson na sample dito, as simple as it is, na maintindihan ng bata at maintindihan ng, ng parent natin. Kasi kung titignan ninyo, no, uh, wala pong pinagbago sa DLL natin, sa part ng DLL natin, previously sa learning task that we have dahil ito ay naka based din siya, even the module na yun yung pinaka main Bible natin for learning ngayon. Okay? So, kung maalala nyo, yung part ng module natin, naka-align din siya doon sa part ng DLL that we have even in the in the and po. Okay? So, therefore, ito, uh, ayan, Ma'am Ma Julia, pakimute po. Ma Maanaw, ayan. Uh, so, you have there yung ating uh, part. Yung pinakauna dyan, ayan, may time allotment tayo. Bakit po tayo nagkaroon ng time allotment? Kasi po, ang klase niya ay blended. No? Para alam ng studyante kung anong oras siya papasok sa online class. Okay? Kaya in-specify po natin yung time na yan. So, this is specifically for blended na may online. Para alam ng bata kung anong oras siya magla-login sa kanyang account. 
no? So you have here, 8.30 to 9.30. So yan yung time natin, nalimbawa lang, bibigyan natin, no? Uh, or earlier than that, sabihin natin, 9.30 to 10.30. Magsiset po tayo ng specific time. We are expecting that the learner should be able to accomplish na the tasks 1 to 4. Ano yung mga tasks na yun? You have the, there, read the objective. So, yan yung pinakauna, presentation of objective. So, dapat maintindihan ng bata yun. Number 2, answer the pre-assessment, what I need to know. So, tama, no? Yun din yung flow ng usual na class na, na, na teaching learning process natin in the previews. First, we present the objective. Number two, we do the post uh, the pre-assessment. Okay, so number three, we accomplish the review activity on pages. What page po siya? So, specify natin yung what's in the part. Kasi ito yung part na mas madaling maintindihan agad ng bata. Okay, for task number three, I will answer what's in. Ganun na siya kaagad, di ba? Ayan, kung medyo tamad siya magbasa, no? Kasi may mga batang ganun, di po ba? And then, accomplish the activity on page 8. So, saan natin siya makikita under what's new siya. So, 9.30 naman to 10 uh, o'clock or 9.30 or uh, 10 to 10.30, bahala na po kayo mag-schedule yan online using Google Classroom account. Depende po kung edmodo kayo, mag edmodo po tayo. Na? Study the lesson. Ano yung specific na instruction doon sa online class? Study the lesson in the Google Classroom using your student account. Or if not po, kung may invitation si teacher or may link si teacher, ilalagay po niya yung link dito. No? Para makapasok sila doon sa Google Classroom or sa Edmodo. Okay? Yan. And then for... Ayan, may maingay pa rin na background. Paki-off po natin ulit. Paki-off po. Unmute. Mute po. Ayan, uh, sino kaya yun? Ma'am Meli, Bimang, and Ma'am Julia, paki-mute po muna. Ayan, para dire-diretso yung flow ng discussion natin. Okay, next one is, you have the, uh, yun na po yung what is it na part. Lesson proper yan, sabi natin kanina, ba? So, dito niya ipipresent. Ibig sabihin, yung lesson proper, doon lang sa mag-online. No? Hindi po lahat. Pero kung full na online yung class mo, ibig sabihin, lahat ng tasks na yan ay andoon sa online class. Pero dito, kung nakablended tayo, ano po ang ilalagay lang ni teacher sa online class? Yung presentation lang ng lesson niya. Okay? Dahil, before that, that online class, dapat expected na na-accomplish ni learner yung 1, 2, 4. Hanggang sa, uh, anong tawag yan, motivation part. Then, okay, mag-meet kayo 9.30, Sa online class, i-open ko din. That's for synchronized. Pero kung asynchronous, pwede naman yun, no? Na si student lang ang mag access Si learner ay si teacher naman ay hindi. Kasi asynchronous yung sinabi natin dito. Ano po? Okay. Next one is you have 10 o'clock to 11.30. Halimbawa lang yung time natin. Accomplish tasks 6 to 9. So, ano yung 6 to 9 na yun? Accomplish the activity on pages 16 to 17. Ano yung what's more? So, after na na-learn ng bata yung lesson through Google Classroom, dahil meron kang ginawang link ng, ng demonstration mo doon, nilagay mo siya sa Google Classroom account nila, at doon nila in-access ng mga learner, you are now going to check yung kanilang mastery. No? Mastery doon sa lesson na na-present mo. So, meron kang binigay na activity that's on page 16 to 17. Okay, and then tasks number 7, answer the post-assessment what i have uh, uh, yeah, what i have learned na tayo dito so ano na yung ah, no, this is supposed to be the generalization tama po ba so what i have learned okay so generalization ito okay and then what i can do uh, you have there the application and then yung last supposedly i post assessment tayo no so what i can do application then post assessment then the last would be uh, enrichment activity na siya okay so, ito lang po yung pinaka-tasks natin. So, this is for blended siya. No? So, makikita natin sa modalities. You have the online, 
meron tayong offline. So you specify there the tasks 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 will be done by the learner at home. Okay, yung tasks number 5 kasi online, imimit natin sila at 9.30 to 10 o'clock. So take note po, no, 30 minutes lang po ang allowed sa atin dahil meron tayong screen time. Considering, considering po yung ating uh, exposure sa radiation. No? Okay, so at the end of the week, the, the parent will hand in the output to the uh, teacher through a teacher board. Okay, so yan ang example natin for blended. Okay, uh, na yung bata ay wala siyang laptop at wala siyang internet connection. Situation B tayo, Sir Warley, ano yung meron sa situation B? Okay, so you have there for situation B naman, the learner has no laptop and computer and no access to internet but with cellphone siya. So anong meron dito? So, the same, no? Yung mga parts natin kanina, understood. Okay, makikita natin dito, meron na tayong code. Ayan, English 5 tayo. Okay. Then, uh, quarter 1, halimbawa lang, ano po? So, ayan, that's how we read that. Quarter 1, yung J is, uh, quarter 2, kung Roman numeral number 2, J is uh, week 10 siya. But anyway, explain to later on ni, ni Sir Pat, no? Okay. Then, ito naman ay full siya na no access, no laptop, pero may cellphone siya. So, offline ng modular at saka phone call tayo. So, sasagutan lahat ng bata yung tasks 1 to 10. Yung tasks na ulit na yun, it follows the objective, it follows the pre-assessment, the review, the motivation, the lesson proper, the practice, uh, the, summary, the summary or generalization, uh, you have there the application and then the post-assessment, then you have the uh, intervention or the enrichment activity. So lahat yun ay sasagutan ng bata. But kung kailangan niyang tawagan si teacher uh, sa phone, pwede yun dahil uh, kailangan niya ng assistance on tasks number 5. So what is it halimbawa? Medyo vague at hindi maintindihan ng bata yung lesson. Yun ang Sir, during that time, 9.30 to 11.30, natatawagan ng studyante si teacher. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. Meron pa rin naka-unmute. Pati-mute po natin. Okay? Ayan. Situation C tayo. Tignan natin so farly. Okay? Situation C natin. Ah, B pa rin siya, pero ito, uh, explain mamaya ng... Okay? Nakakonek ka kang. Ayan, may ano po. Paki-off po natin. Yung mic natin. Okay. So you have there, no? Ito naman, meron siyang part dito na meron siyang attachment. Kinontextualize ni teacher ito. No? So mamaya ipipresent yan. So, di ba kanina makita nyo doon? So may attachment siya si teacher. Ibig sabihin, kinontextualize na yung isang part. Nakahighlight po siya. Okay, Ma'am Osang, may tanong po tayo. Ma'am, yung slide mo nasa situation A pa lang. Wala na, ah. hindi namin nakita yung B and C. Ay, Ma'am, nasa B tayo. Sir Warley, parang hindi nila... Okay, medyo mabagal yata yung connection. Ayan, nadidisconnect daw po. Pasensya ng... Naman. Nakapresent pa naman po. Okay. Ah, uh, ayan. Uh, C na tayo, sir. Okay. Yung B natin is, ayan. So, yung C natin, uh, Ma'am Osang, okay na po? Or balikan natin si B? Uh, Ma'am uh, Osang? Nasa, nasa A pa lang ako, Ma'am, yung screen ko. Baka nasa ako A may problema. <laughs> okay. Ah, baka Ma'am, ikaw yung screen mo ang may problem. Nakasina po tayo, Ma'am. Ah, sige. Ah, sige. Uh, okay, Nakasin na tayo. Lang. Sige. Proceed lang po. Yeah. Anyway, we will be giving you copies later. So, situation C na to. The learner has no laptop, no access to internet, and no cell phone siya. So, purely ito ay modular tayo. Okay? So, ayan. So, purely modular tayo dito. The learner will accomplish all the tasks with the guidance of parents. So, pare-pareho po yan ulit. No? So, ganun ang scenario natin. Iba-ibang scenario ang pinakita po natin. But, hindi natin, we still follow yung ating uh, parts na yun. So, from post-test, uh, pre-test to enrichment activity. Uh, 
uh, okay na po ba? Medyo na nakikita na natin yung flow ng weekly home learning plan natin plus yung ating module. Kasi ito ay naka-align siya kasi modular na tayo ngayon. Ano po? So, uh, hindi nawawala pa rin si review. May motivation part pa rin tayo. Ano po? So, in case nagagawa tayo ng module, dapat meron itong mga parts na ito. Okay? Para makumpleto pa rin yung part talaga ng teaching and learning process natin. Okay? Kasi may mga purpose po bawat parts na yon. Okay? So, dito, purely modular kasi wala siyang laptop and all. Okay? Even cellphone, wala po siya. Ano po? Kaya purely modular to. Kung may tanong siya, pwede tayong mag-ask ng help from volunteer sa barangay kung meron. Pero kung wala naman, uh, siguro kung meron tayong kapitbahay or parent na pwedeng makatulong sa anak natin, we seek their help. No? Okay. So, yun po for situation C natin. Okay. What's on the next slide, Sir Worley? Let us see. Okay. So, thank you. Okay. Nakuha po yes. ba natin? Ayan. Ang bilis, no? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Before we end, there are questions here collected. So, may I start with the first one? Here is a question from Ma'am Amelia Buyokan. Madam, what do you mean by meet our learners? Are we allowed to meet physically or online? Back to you, Ma'am Jona. Ay, ano po? We meet our learners po sa online. Halimbawa, Meron tayong uh, Google Meet na sinet or meron tayong sinet na uh, LMS for them. Yun lang po. Kasi bawal po talaga ang face-to-face. -face. Ano po? Okay? So, we meet them uh, doon sa online. Kung magbi-blended tayo. Blended, ibig sabihin may modular ka at saka meron kang online. Pero kung purely na online po tayo, ibig sabihin all the tasks po will be done online. Halimbawa, sa Edmodo, okay, imimit mo sila ba or hindi? Okay, kung synchronous tayo, same time, like what we are doing right now, face-to-face -face tayo online, okay, virtual na uh, nagmimit tayo, then, okay, here is, uh, okay, na nakalink dito yung ating review. Please open that. Okay, I'll give you certain time to, to answer that. 30 minutes or 10 minutes. Okay, you should turn that in after 10 minutes. Turn that in, ibig sabihin, submit nila. Ipapasa nila yung kanilang output. Okay, or yung kanilang responses. Okay, so yan po for online. Blended po tayo. Do natin sila inimit ma'am kasi bawal talaga ang face-to-face. -face. Okay, another question po kung meron pa. Meron pa ma'am. So uh, here is also another question. So thank you, Ma'am Amelia, by the way, and thank you, Ma'am Jona. So here is another question from Sir Joseph Manungit. What if modular lahat subdivide the, ta subdivide the parts of the module according to time allotted per subject per week? I repeat, Ma'am. What if modular lahat subdivide the parts of the module according to time allotted per subject per week? Ah, okay. That is from Sir Joseph. Uh, sir, di ba may specific time allotment tayo per learning area na 2 hours siya, halimbawa, yung English natin, the whole morning siya. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, yung module expected ay to be accomplished by the learner uh, Monday morning. Yung English module, i-accomplish ng learner Monday morning siya. Pero kung maghalimbawa, uh, meron kang online dahil nag ka, you specify the time. Halimbawa, 10.30, gano'n siya. So, meron po naka-alat, di ba, na time per class? So, yun po. Halimbawa, TLE in the afternoon. Ibig sabihin, yung module to be answered uh, TLE in the afternoon. Okay, like 1 to, 1 to 3 o'clock po siya. Okay, meron pong schedule po na nafa-follow. Yung pre-nisend ko po kanina na pinakauna. So, doon po nila expected. Kaya dapat yung bata, meron din siyang copy ng schedule. Para alam niya, ana, okay, uh, in the afternoon ng Monday, 1 to 3 o'clock, uh, the whole of that, I'll be answering TLE. TLE yung hawak ko dapat na module. Parang ganun siya. So, that si teacher din ng TLE sa kanyang section, nakaantabay siya dapat. Kasi baka may magtanong si learner, may tumawag si parent during that time na schedule. Kaya nakaset naka tayo sa schedule para naman hindi magkakagulo-gulo, no? hindi yung ilang, 
ilang klase or ilang learner ang magtatanong uh, sa iyo. Ayan, ibig sabihin kung halimbawa isang section ko ay ito lang. Ito yung time na ng TLE. Uh, another section, section 2 naman ay ang schedule ko naman ay Wednesday morning. Yung kasi ko dapat during that time lang sa section na yon. Okay? So we instill that scheduling pa rin po para ma-organize din yung pag-respond natin sa bata. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, sir. So another question, the same question from Ma'am Janice Nono and Ma'am Pinay. Hello, ma'am. Can we disarrange the schedule of subjects? And I think it's the same with the question of Ma'am Janice. Can we disarrange the subjects? Uh, definitely po. Yes, ma'am. Kailangan nyo kasi gagawa kayo ng sarili. Yung pinakita ko po, isang klase pa lang yun. E expected na ang teacher may hawak siyang anim. Di po ba? Maximum. Sa, 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 sa guideline natin, maximum is six hours. Okay. Ibig sabihin, you have six sections. So, ngayon, meron pa din dapat gagawa ng sectioning natin. Okay? Like, for example, ako, TLE, section one, Monday morning. Okay. Yung section two ko naman, Monday afternoon. Okay, section 3 ko naman, TLE, Monday, uh, Wednesday morning. Halimbawa, ganun siya. So, you make your own schedule po. Same scheduling or same flow ng schedule na ginagawa natin in the previous, kaso nga lang, iba na yung time allotment. Okay? Naka-focus lang tayo sa sa 8 na siya. I-divide natin siya sa Monday and afternoon for 4 days. Okay? Morning and afternoon for 4 days lang po. Yung 8 learning areas natin. Okay? Yes po, another... Another question here, ma'am, from Ma'am Diaz. Ang pretest po ba ay module, ang pretest po ba ng module, ma'am, ay dapat quiz type or pwedeng discussion type? Ah, okay. Uh, iba po ang discussion, nasa what is it na part po siya. Huh? So, marami po tayong types ng written assessment. Multiple choice is one. Uh, yung fill in the blanks is one. Ayun po. Pero, uh, kung dito nyo ipipresent yung topic, hindi po. Kung yun yung tanong natin. Kasi ang pagkakaintindi ko, pagdating sa discussion, it's the presentation of the lesson. Ano po? So, presentation of the lesson po is under what is it siya. Okay? So, ayan. So, uh, any form of assessment po pwede nating ibigay sa pretest. Okay? Like, for example, sa knowledge part tayo, you give something na pwede nilang a sequence on the process or procedure. So, that's one po na pre-assessment natin for tasks or performance tasks. Or multiple choice ang common po kasi sa atin, di po ba? Ayun. Sige. Ma'am Rose, meron pa po ba? Okay, thank you ma'am. Here is also another question from Ma'am Manuel. Padang, paano i-meet ang bata pag purely titular? Ma'am Jonah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hindi po natin sila inimit, no? <laughs> Dahil ang inimit ni ni ni, ni teacher ay si parent or si volunteer teacher. Ngayon si parent, dahil di ba alam ko may option kayo na to be picked up by, by parent yung module. Ang inimit po ni teacher ay si parent kung for pick up yung module. Pero kung through a volunteer para teacher like police or whatsoever, ang kausap po ni teacher ay si policeman or yung para teacher natin or yung fire officer natin or yung kanyang parent. At si parent po ang mag-share kay learner, mag explain kung ano po ang dapat niyang gawin na tasks base po doon sa binigay natin na learning tasks. Kaya kung makikita nyo po yung learning tasks natin, as simple as it is, na mas maintindihan ng bata. Ano po? Okay, so hindi po natin sila imimit. Yung module lang po ang commit ni learner. Kung may phone siya, pwedeng through phone call lang po or text messaging lang po tayo. Okay? Okay, thank you ma'am. Another question so that uh, for the information of uh, everybody from Sir Joseph Manungit. Confused on what module to use, central office or self-made? Ayan. That's ano po, no? Uh, meron po tayong abiso, may guideline tayo na ang priority po is yung central uh, office na na module. Ano po? Hanggang hindi po na forward sa atin yung module na yon, 
that means na kung meron tayong nagawa na locally made na module, yun po ang gagawin natin. Pero kung meron na pong na-forward po, na-download po sa atin, sa division natin, that means na priority po si yung galing sa central office. Ang tanong po, masasayang na po ba yung ginawa namin, yung ginawa ng teacher or self-made or locally made na module? Hindi po. Kasi, di ba, once na may na-receive tayo from central office, halimbawa lang, masyado siyang marami yung activity at may activity na hindi siya ganun ka-applicable sa learner ko dahil masyadong high ang standard or qualification or resources na nakalagay doon and you've made your own na part halimbawa doon sa part ng mastery or sa application part wala akong resources na ganito na nakalagay meron kang ginawa make use of that we call it na the contextualized na siya na module gagamitin mo siya ilalagay mo lang siya as attachment like for example Instead of accomplishing, halimbawa sa tasks number three, nakita niyo po kanina, naalala niyo yung naka-highlight na naka-highlight sa red. Instead of accomplishing the review activity na nasa module, the learner will accomplish the attach na review activity. Ibig sabihin, merong in-attach si teacher na gawa niya. So, pwedeng in the form of activity sheet. No? So, halimbawa, when we say contextualize natin yon. Ang gagawin na lang ni teacher, i-review niya yung module na galing sa central office. Kung may part doon or may activity na kailangan gawa ng activity sheet para makontextualize, make it po. Okay? So, ayun po tayo. Okay, thank you ma'am. So, here is another question. I think this question is to be thrown to the supervisor in mathematics. Sir Brian, are you here? The question goes this way from uh, Ma'am Josephine Ramos. Paano po yung SLM ng Math Grade 10 Module 2? Iba yung topic na nakalagay doon sa content ng module. Doon sa topics po ay arithmetic sequence, pero remainder theorem ang content. Pashare naman po kaguro ng tamang module. The Supervisor in Mathematics will answer this. Sir Brian, are you here? Hello, good morning. I think no, that uh, at this time, we are still waiting for the self-learning modules from the central office. At this time, wala pa pong nai-release na self-learning modules in Math 10. So, let us just wait for the uh, self-learning modules to be released by the central office. No? I think uh, that will answer already the, the questions no, ng ating teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sir Brian. So, back to Ma'am Jonah. Paano naman po ang multi-grade? Hindi na-identify kung kanino galing ito. Ma'am Jonah. Yes po. Anong specific na tanong ma'am sa multi-grade? So that means kung multi-grade po tayo, it's understood na dalawa po ang learning plan na gagawin natin. Tama po ba? Isa po do sa isang level at isa sa isang grade level. Kaya medyo kawawa naman yung mga teachers talaga natin na may multi-grade kasi talagang dala-dalawa or tatlo-tatlo po yung magagawa na learning tasks or work weekly home learning plan at ganun din po doon sa kanyang module. Okay, so ayun po siya, as is pa rin po, imimit po natin, or I mean, uh, kailangan pa rin po natin na uh, bigyan po ng learning tasks yung dalawa po or tatlo na hawak natin na grade level. Thank you, ma'am. So this is the last question, which is the reverse of that question, multi-grade. So if there is multi-grade, here is also a question from Ma'am Fernandez. Paano po yung sectioning, sectioning po kung sa amin po dito sa Ifugao, i5 to 6 section po per grade? Yes, okay. Uh, 5 to 6 po siya per grade. Ayan. Kung nagawan po siya ng schedule last year, ganun din po siya. Ano po? So, kumbaga, nagkaroon lang tayo ng adjustment sa time natin. 2 Is hours every grade? ano. Yes. Every learner, uh, every learning area per week. Pero as to scheduling po, uh, alam ko magagawan pa rin po yun, no? Mayroon naka-assign dyan na gagawa, kaya naman po, kasi walang nagbago. Kasi ako po, galing ako sa big, big school din, um, as I can see po, magagawan pa rin po siya ng schedule. Kasi nabigyan pa rin po ng time yung lahat ng learning area at meron tayong specific po na 6 hours, uh, 6 po na maximum. Yan is kung talagang, kasi naka-ratio and proportion po naman tayo sa ganyan, unless lang po na nag-add kayo ng additional population, 
that means you, you request additional teacher. Okay? Okay, thank you. Ma'am, ano? Po. Ah, sige po. Uh, from... Hello, po. Yes, Sorry. po. Uh, sino po yung... Uh, uh, Mrs. Pawid po of Bisad Valley National High School. Ma, yes, may, may concern po ako going back yes, to sa ating module. In the what, it, what is it part of our self-learning modules, may I know if uh, uh, we can lift a part of a book um, for the discussion part po? Is it okay if we lift a part of a book and place it po directly sa ating self-learning module. <laughs> okay. Uh, may, may I ask Ma'am ma LR natin? Ma LR Supervisor, Ma'am Rosita po to answer that kasi alam ko that's LR matter po. Ma'am ma Rose? Come again, Ma'am. Yung tanong? Hello po, Rosita. Ma'am, is it okay if uh, we place po a part of a book doon sa discussion part ng ating self-learning module? Uh, doon po ma'am sa what is it part po? Uh, yes ma'am, because uh, book is also a reference. Yes ma'am. If you would like to modify, get additional, pwede rin po ma'am. Because uh, textbook also is a part of uh, yeah, our also learning resources. Uh, okay, so, so long as the topic jive with the competency or the learning competency ma'am. Mm -hmm. And okay. the add po, properly cited po siya ma'am sa reference natin. Ano po? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Alright. Okay. Thank you very much po. Thank you. Okay, ma another Hello, question. Hello, next question. Uh, meron? Ma Sige. Uh, Hello ma'am. <laughs> Am I recognized? Ma'am Rose, sino po yan? Sige, Sir Sir Tomas. Okay. Ma'am, uh, my question is, is the weekly home, what is it, how to call it, the weekly home learning plan, is it now the replacement for the DLL? Yes po. Yes, yes, sir. Yes po, sir. Uh, yun po, na nabago lang yung format kung makikita ninyo pero yung parts po ng teaching learning process halos pareho like what I presented po ano in the past meron din tayo doon presentation, discussion, application mastery, ganun din po tayo dito ilalagay din po natin under tasks kasi as expected po nandun din siya sa part ng module and since gagamitin natin si module sa modular so kumpleto pa rin siya Ano po? So, walang nagbago po as to content and parts, yung formatting lang sa and how are we going to present it para mas maintindihan po ng learner at parent pag dumating po sa end nila. Okay, okay thank you. Format lang po yun, sir. Okay, thank you. Here is also another question from Ma'am Raquel. In our case, it is pure modular print. Can we allocate the time of a subject for the whole week to be done in just two days? Example, math will be scheduled Monday, 8 to 11 o'clock a.m. and Tuesday, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock a.m. only for the whole week. <coughs> ah, okay. Um, uh, as expected po sa ating schedule, nakaalat siya. Halimbawa, math. Math is, sabi natin, Monday morning. So, may yung learner meron siyang Monday morning to uh, hold and accomplish that module. Ano po? Ngayon, kaya nga, di ba, pag nagka-quality assure tayo, may focus lang tayo na, na LCs sa week 1, kung Q1 lang siya. Ano po? Ngayon, kung halimbawa, yung module, ang dami niyang activity na ginawa doon, yung galing halimbawa sa central office, ano po, ang dami activities at hindi kaya doon sa time na yon ng Monday morning. Pwede i-contextualize ni teacher yon hindi niya ipapasagot yung ibang activities. Ilalagay lang po niya doon sa kanyang learning tasks kung ano lang po ang activities. Halimbawa, yung nasa module ay merong tatlo or apat na activities. Considering the time na hindi kaya ng learner, mamimili po si teacher ng activity na pwede niyang ipasagot lang sa bata. Considering the time. Okay, so it's not necessary po the all the activities in the module will be done by the learner. Nasa teacher na po yun. Kung 
ililimit lang niya sa one activity lang, no? Kasi yun lang yung alam kong, eto medyo mahirap-hirap, tapos ang dami activity, hindi kaya in, in ng Monday morning, that means, ilimit mo siya. Lessen the activities. So, ilagay niyo po doon sa uh, learning tasks natin. Okay? Uh, halimbawa, for application, accomplish only activity 10. Kung merong tatlo doon, 10, 11, 12. I-focus lang on one activity. So, 10 lang po siya kung 10 lang. Kaya yun naman na teacher, matatansya natin siya kung uh, ano yung time na pwedeng ma-accomplish ng bata. Ano po? Okay? So, yun lang ma'am. You, you, you contextualize, you modify with the, with the help of that learning tasks. Doon po natin ilalagay lahat. Okay. okay. Another question from Mama Glolo of Baguio City. What part of the written activities and assessments in the LM can be recorded and graded? Okay. Uh, so far, wala pa po tayong bago ano po, na assessment. Although may nakikita ako sa Facebook, although sa amin po, sa central office, hindi kasi kami basta-basta mag-alay lang sa nakapost sa Facebook or sa any dyan na social media. Unless na may ma-receive po kami na official communication, that's the time po na maniniwala po kami. So far, wala pa po kaming nare-receive na guideline as to assessment galing sa central office. So therefore, we'll make use of DEPED Memo number 8 on assessment and we base it na yung formative assessment natin is not to be recorded but ay, uh, to be recorded siya but hindi siya included sa grade ng bata. I-record lang natin formative yun as a basis on how we improve our teaching and learning pa or uh, to further uh, present the, the topic. Kasi kung halimbawa lumabas sa formative assessment na mababa siya, that means hindi masyadong naintindihan, then hindi mo siya, i-record mo siya, i-check mo siya, pero hindi mo idadagdag sa, sa grade. Kasi kung puro sila bagsak ang lumabas, ibig sabihin there's problem. Hindi naintindihan yung lesson, mag-reteach mag ka ulit, magbigay ka ng additional activity, sheet ulit, then that's the time ulit na pag okay na yung assessment, that's the time na uh, mag uh, i record na siya. Okay? So, yun po. As in pa rin po tayo sa assessment, di ba, in the previous kasi, formative assessment is not to be recorded, at least uh, to be checked, to be recorded, but not to be included in the computation of grade. Ayun. Oh, okay na? Okay. Yes po. Thank you, ma'am. Meron pang isa dito sa chat uh, pin from ma'am Esther. Regarding sa WHLP, so ang teacher po ba ang gagawa ng different uniform learning plan in accordance to the learner's need of mode of delivery? Parang nasagot yan. Yes po ma'am, ma'am Esther, yes po. Sila po ang gagawa, depende po sa learners nila, depende po doon sa sitwasyon ng learner nila kasi ng learner kasi alam ko depende yan sa ano no pinapili dahil ako pinapili ako sa city high kung anong modality ang papaano ko sa bata so that means depende kay teacher kung dip, ano po yung na, na choose na modality ng kanyang mga learner to be checked po by the school head so yan po yung part ng ng, ng school head naman na evaluating yung lesson plan ng uh, ng teacher. Yun lang po yung gagawin ng school head natin. But preparation would be for uh, teachers po yan in one week. Ano po? So parang yung two hours na yun ang gagawan or yung morning ng halimbawa, Monday morning, yun yung gagawan ng learning plan ng teacher. Okay? Uh, Ma'am, tignan natin may mga nagre-raise hand po. Baka tawag naman tayo dito. Anyway, kasi yung mga nasa chat pane, Pwede natin i-check later. Uh, Ma'am Tayaban, Glim Joy. May tanong. Okay. Oh, sige. Oh, sige, wala. Hmm. Oh, sige, ma'am, Rose, mukhang wala na. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, yes, ako ma po. Hello, ma'am. Yes, po. Yes. Uh, ma si Glinjoy po ito. Parang yeah, ma'am, ma Glinjoy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Opo. Yung ma'am ma po is... Kasabay, kasabay po yata ako, ma'am. Uh, hello po. May mga naka-unmute na iba. Pakimute muna para marinig natin yung query. 
limited po yung time natin. Ano po, yung iba, we will respond to your queries later anyway. Recorded naman po ito, so lalabas lahat sa group chat, no? Okay. Sige po. Uh, yes, ma'am, my concern is on the module. Kasi yes, ma'am. As, as of this time, uh, wala pa naman pong uh, modules coming from the central office regarding some of the senior high school subjects like uh, yung subject ko po, yung uh, understanding culture, society, and politics. Uh, my concern is on the uh, MELC. Kasi yung MELC po, um, 12 weeks ang pre-novide. And then for us, na semestral kami, we have like around 16 weeks for the whole two quarters. Ngayon, ang, ang concern is paano po namin gawin yung adjustment doon sa milk to meet the 16 weeks. Okay. Um, sige po, ano, naka-weekly basis tayo. Uh, you only have uh, 12 po na activity, uh, 12 na LCs, tama? Yes, ma'am. 12 sa na milk. activity milk sa milk. Na po. Uh, yung class yes, is in siya yes. ng 16 weeks. Ano po? Opo. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, ma'am, i-review ni teacher kung alin po doon sa LC. May kulang, ano po? Mag-alat yes, tayo po. ng clean joy ng, ng uh, so, meron kang 12, tama? 12 yes, LCs. I-alat natin yung one week for orientation, one week for exam. Tama po? So, hindi so, po namin hahati in any of the uh, milks. Kasi uh, what we tried to do is, uh, we tried na may hatiin sa mga milks. Yes po. Kung alin ma'am yung nakikita nyo na, na nangangailangan ng mas further na discussion at mas pinaka-importante na ma-enhance sa bata, dun po tayo mag-focus. No, isabtask okay. po natin kung kailangan meron tayong isasabtas. Halimbawa, sa learning competency number 10, masyadong marami yung tasks na nandun, yes, na expected. Isabtask po natin yan to, for us to make a series of module out of that LC. So it's not necessary okay. na one LC is one module. Pwede nating isabtask, pwede tayong mag-merge kung masyado namang kulang. Ano po? So, paano po yung stating namin, ma'am, regarding sa milk? So the same milk pa rin po ang gagamitin. Uh, yes, milk po. number. Uh, ganito, so, sa objectives lang magkakaiba. Yes po, ganito ma'am. Even sa titling ng module natin, halimbawa ko anong title mo, nakabase ka sa LCs, ano po? Yes okay. po. Q1, uh, halimbawa, Q, uh, Q1 week 1 na LC1. Tapos, isinabtask mo sa si LC1, ano ma'am, mag-open yes, and ma close ka sa baba, at mm. yun lang po ilalagay natin. Yung okay. specific topic. Topic. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Tapos, ah, okay. module 2, halimbawa, Q1 pa rin siya, week 1 pa rin siya, uh, week 2 na siya, LC1 pa rin siya. Tama po ba? Yes, ma'am. LC1 yes, ma pa rin siya, mag-open and close ka ulit, sub-content B ka naman na. Okay. Ano po? So, kung, yes, yeah, mag mag magsa-subtitle ka na po doon. Yes, ma'am. Uh, apo. Kung may subtasking tayo, magsasab ano tayo, imerge natin yung same concept na topic at yun ang pagsasamayin natin sa isang module kung kinakailangan. It's either you merge or you subtask. Subtask. Ano okay. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Yes, oh. Ma'am, regarding sa ano, regarding sa senior high modules po, ano pong update coming from sa central office? Talaga po bang walang-wala ang mga taga-senior high school? <laughs> Ano po, kasi nawiwintang na po kami eh. Hindi lang po senior high school, pati po lahat ng kami, wala pa kami nare-receive na ano. And we are not authorized to just give anything, ano po, it's yes, through LR lang. So, yes, may may official lang po na pwede mag-release noon. Hanggang kami po, wala, wala pa rin kaming nare-receive. So, that means na kung talagang wala, anyway, may mga nagawa tayo na locally made for first quarter, Ibig sabihin, we make use of the locally made na modules natin. Ano po? Halimbawa, yes, yung priority natin, yung week 1, week 2 natin. Okay, kung yes, talagang wala pa. Ano po? Pero yes, kung meron naman na, we make use of the module, i-study lang natin kung kailangan i-contextualize, gagawa lang tayo ng activity sheet in place of a certain activity. That's how we contextualize it. Yes, yes ma'am. Opo. Mm -mm. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. Yes, ma'am Glenjoy. Uh, ano, ma'am Rose, kumusta yung time natin? Uh, so, it's already time. I was trying to go over the uh, question, but some questions will be answered after the 
preceding presentation. So shall we end here for the session of Mom Jonah? And we will be more enlightened as we move on to the next topic. So, thank you very much, Mom Jonah, for the enlightenment on ensuring teachers' mastery on the parts and contents and weekly home learning plan and self-learning modules. So, it is hoped that these presentations has given you the bird's eye view on what we are going to prepare this opening of classes. So, may you now open your uh, camera and then give a virtual clap to Mom Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everybody, well, one, one, two, taking. <laughs> three. Ah, gusto na picture taking at the same time. And so. later na lang po, later na lang. Mm -hmm. Kasi Everybody, another, ano. open your uh, yeah. camera and give a virtual clap to Ma'am Jonah. One, two, camera. three, go. Your camera. Please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put on now your camera so that we'll proceed to the next step. So once again, thank you very much for your participation and thank you, Mom Jonah, for sharing. So at this point, we I believe that we'll be more enlightened with this. We come now to the next topic on capacitating teachers on aligning weekly home learning plan with a developed self-learning modules. And we'll be given here concrete sample learning plan for the key stage one and two. So our presenter for this is no other than the education program supervisor for kindergarten and the Dr. Denia Taranate. So Dr. Denia, present. Sir Kermit. Sir Kermit. This Rose, nakai Sir Kermit yung presentation. Yes, 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 ma'am. Very, very. Yes, very. So, in a moment, kasi ito yung anus natin sa ano, sa ICT. So just wait in a minute. So while we are waiting, other questions that you raised? Sorry for not answering this time because I believe that this will be answered after the presentation of the other speakers. Okay, so... Sige ma'am, sige ma'am. So, meron na? Weekly home learning plan is vital as it serves as guide to facilitators as to the structure for an essential learning. The sample weekly home learning plan for kindergarten will give you an idea on the learning tasks per day based on the SLMs. This will also serve as guide for parents as they facilitate the lesson. From our sample, from Mondays to Thursdays, the lesson will start at 8 and ends at 11.30 in the morning. Basically, uh, for kindergarten, the lesson ends at 11 o'clock. But for this time, it will be until 11.30 to give time for the learner to finish his or her tasks. The learning area or domain is pagpapaunlad sa kakayahang socio-emotional and the first competency is nakikilala ang sariling pangalan at apelyedo. The following are the learning tasks under this competency, as I have said, based on the SLMs, also not deviating from the blocks of time. First is, before the session, it is best to greet each other as well, incorporating polite expressions. 
Second is to read Alamin on page two. This is to give an idea on what is expected from the learners after finishing this module. After meeting time one, let the learner answer the five item pre-assessment or subbooking on page three, followed by facilitating the activity to class in on page four, which is work period one. Fifth is to have an informal conversation or discussion about the activity by letting the learner do Suri in on page five. This is also the meeting time too. Having informal conversation or discussion will help the learner understand better the lesson. After doing this is to call for a break a supervised snack time for the learner, okay? Give time for the learner to enjoy his or her snack. After the supervised snacks, have a simple game or storytelling. Dito po, the teacher has to provide short stories or storybooks na kasama po sa package na ibibigay sa mga magulang or guardian. We all know that storytelling is important in the learning process. Eight is facilitate as the learner applies what he or she learned by doing the activities in Pagyamanin on pages 6 to 11. This is now the work period 2. Followed by letting the learner read the summary of the lesson in ISAP ISIP on page 12. To further enrich the knowledge of the learner on the lesson learned, let him or her accomplish the activity in Isagawa on page 13. After doing all the paper and pencil tasks, it is best to conduct an indoor or outdoor games. Any po, any na indoor or outdoor games. This is to develop the gross and fine motor skills of the learner as well his or her skill on following of instructions and appropriately expressing emotions. Lastly, is to supervise the learner as he or she cleans and fixes the things used for the day's lesson. So those are the learning tasks for Monday. Let's go to the learning tasks on Tuesday. Learning tasks so for Monday. It is the same as to the learning task on Monday. Tuesday's learning competency is nakikilala ang sariling kasarian. Learning tasks 1 to 8 are the same lang po sa learning tasks ng Monday. But for learning task 1, you may add an activity aside from greeting each other prior to the start of lesson. Let's focus our attention to learning task 9. Sa lunis po, ang nakalagay po doon is to read the summary. But here on Tuesday 4, it is to answer is a easy. Pulling the attention of the participants, please uh, mute your audio. 
Paki mute you. Miss Thank you. Mabosa, ay, mungo, omos, na eh, ano a, si ano ang emnay po nago mangmay. Please wait, please uh, mute your audio. Sheila, mute your mic. Zero. Nagamit naman, ada sa anak sa rento pa din Ma'am Dinya, can you? Get competence, yes. Okay. And let's focus or moving on on the mode of delivery. Okay, since modular learning delivery, the learner will accomplish all tasks with the guidance of parent or guardian. And the parent or learner may request a phone call from teacher to further understand the lesson or task as needed. Then, fix the output in the portfolio. Portfolio is an evidence of the work or, yeah, the work of the learner. And this is also to determine the progress of the learner. And at the end of the week, the parent or guardian will hand in the portfolio to the teacher in school or through a volunteer or parateacher. And every Fridays or viernes from 8.30 to 10.30 in the morning, this is set for homeroom guidance. So your attendance is very, very important. And 10.30 to 11.30, it is for the learner to attend extracurricular activities if necessary, making of portfolio, accomplish feedback form, and submission of outputs or portfolio. And Saturday, teacher's time for paperwork. Okay, so this is now the sample of the weekly home learning plan for kindergarten. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you so much, Ma'am Denya. So that is for kindergarten. So the next presentation will be a concrete example for K stage 1, which is grade 1 to 3. So again, let's welcome Dr. Denya for the weekly home learning plan for K stage 1. Okay, so more or less, you're already enlightened because Ma'am Jonah presented to you the weekly home learning plan and we have already here a concrete example. We will be presenting to you example for kindergarten, K-stage 1, K-stage 2, K-stage 3, until K-stage 4, which is the senior high school. So, 
Done na tayo sa kindergarten. This time will be K stage 1. So this is for grade 1 to grade 3. Who among you teaches in a large school? Medium or small school? Are the printed modules ready for distribution? What if you were not number of printed modules? Are there any options so that no one will be compromised? The next slides will give us an idea on what to do, and this is based on Regional Memorandum 236, Series 2020. One option is class programming or scheduling. This is to consider batches that will utilize printed modules without compromising the expected number of class hours per learning area per grade level. Since there are schools with big number of learners or big schools, option maybe is to divide the class as to the availability of modules. Ito po ay para magsalitan ang mga bata sa paggamit ng mga ito. By doing this, no learners will be compromised the time as well learning area. Here is a sample of a weekly schedule for one class okay so it is a sample grade 3a weekly schedule for eight weeks and th this is a modular distance learning delivery for week one it says here priming or psychosocial preparation for parents and learnings from 8 to 11.30 and preparation of instructional packets and other learning materials from 1 to 5 p.m. Now for week one, the activity series are already doing it now, preparing the necessary materials or modules before the start of classes. However, this will also be the time for the psychosocial preparation for parents and learners. Now for week two, the lesson proper. From 8 to 11.30 in the morning, Mondays to, from Monday to Friday, the focus here is ESP, focusing on MELKs uh, 1 to 6. No? In the afternoon, it is MTB from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. From Monday to Thursday, and retrieval of uh, modules on Friday. Okay? For week three, Monday from 8 to 5 in the afternoon, is the distribution of modules and orientation. Tuesday to Friday is English focusing on MELKs 1 to 12. And on Friday afternoon is the retrieval of modules or instructional packets. At week four, Monday is also the distribution of modules and orientation then tuesday to friday is the lesson proper tackling filipino milks 1 to 15 and friday is set for the retrieval of modules or instructional packets and this is for week five for week 5, from 8 to 11.30 and 1 to 5 is still the distribution of modules or instructional packets and orientation. And from Tuesday to Friday is mathematics focusing on MELKs 1 to 16. And in the afternoon of week 5 is the retrieval of modules or instructional packets. Okay, and week six 
Monday is set also for the distribution of modules or instructional packets and orientation. Tuesday until Wednesday, okay, Tuesday and Wednesday morning until afternoon will be AP, focusing on MELCs 1 to 8. And Thursdays and Fridays will be science. And in the afternoon of Friday is set for the retrieval of the instructional packets or modules. Week 7, uh, in the morning until afternoon, the same, distribution of modules and orientation. And then Tuesday, whole day of Tuesday and morning of Wednesday is set for arts. And the afternoon of Wednesday and morning of Thursday is music. And afternoon of Thursday and morning of Friday is health. In the afternoon of Friday of week seven is the retrieval of instructional packets or modules. Week eight is the examination week. Okay, so this is the schedule for class 3A. Moving on is for us to see the schedule or weekly schedule of class 3B. For week one, it's the same, priming or psychosocial preparation for parents and learners as well, preparation of instructional packets and other learning materials. Let's see the schedule on week two. What is the subject in class 3B? It is English. It is English for class A, the schedule of English is week three, okay? Now, moving on is week three. Still, Monday is set for the distribution of instructional packets and orientation. The subjects here are ESP and MTB. And in the afternoon is the retrieval of instructional packets or modules. Now, for class 3B, Week 3 is ESP and MTB, while in Class A, ESP or and MTB is tackled in Week 2. No? Week 4, still Monday, is set for the distribution of instructional packets and orientation. And the subject here from Tuesday until Friday is mathematics. Friday afternoon is the retrieval of instructional packets or modules. In class A, week four is Filipino. So I just hope you were able to see the picture or clearer picture yung sinabi natin kanina na class is scheduling. No? Here now is the summary of the uh, class schedules uh, shown a while ago, class 3A and class 3B, para lalo pa ninyong makita ang clearer picture kapag ganito ang strategy ninyo. More or less, the content of this are the same with the content of the weekly home learning plan. Gusto lang namin ipakita ang other options for arranging your schedules if there will be sharing of modules. As I have said a while ago, so that no one will be compromised, no learner, learner will be compromised, the time as well the learning area. Yan po. Now for the uh, sample of weekly home learning plan for grade one, a uh, memo will be released where a sample of this will be attached. Huh? Before I will end my session, I just want to share to you a letter which made me smile, and it says here, 
Dear teacher, teacher, when the expectations begin to feel impossible, remember because of you, today someone smiled, made a connection, became more confident, and felt love. From don't give up. Hope I made you smile too. Great morning, everyone, and thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Mam Denya, for enlightening us on the weekly home learning plan for Key Stage 1 to Key Stage 2. So we still have time before we move to the next. We will now have again the question and answer so that if you have questions, Please uh, raise, Ma'am Denya, please stand by to answer if there are some questions. So Ma'am Rosana Dison is raising her hand for questions. So please come in, Ma'am Rosana. Okay, Ma'am Rose. Okay, good morning, Ma'am Denya. Good morning, Ma'am Rose. Uh, good morning, fellow participants. I would just like to ask about the um, the development. I mean the the uh, modules if uh, they are developed really for good for one week because uh, I observed in the sample schedule given earlier that one learning area is only good to work on for two hours for the learner. So a, a learning area which used to be good for four hours a week will now become two hours per week. And looking at the modules, uh, they're really good for four hours or more per week. So what happens if, just like in the pilot schools, the learner cannot really accomplish the module for the week? Shall we uh, require them to proceed to the next module without completing the first module? Thank you, Ma'am Rosana, for that question. So may I give the screen to Ma'am Denia for the, to answer the question. Thank you, thank you, Ma'am Rosana. Hi, good morning po. I'm so sorry for the background music. <laughs> it's too noisy here. Uh, for kindergarten, we are, uh, we are really following the blocks of time. For in three hours lang talaga ang kindergarten sa regular class. And, and then, nagkagtag tayo ng 30 minutes para the learner will do the tasks or the activities uh, at her own pacing at matapos niya talaga yung learning, uh, yung module na yon. And as to the module, kung yung ipakita kanina na magkakaiba po yung competency per day, yung sample po na nagawa o naigawan ko ng weekly home learning plan is good for one day po. So... Uh, one competency, one module, and good for one day. Uh -oh. So another comp another module, another comp uh, another module doon sa second day until ngay no, doon sa Friday. So magkakaiba yung modules. Pero yung content naman noon is achievable po within the allotted time. Iyon po. Thank you, Ma'am Denya. So, Ma'am, back to you, Ma'am Rostana. Were you clarified? Yes, maybe, Ma'am, I'm quite misplaced. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, presentation of Ma'am Denya as applicable to the other levels. Maybe I have to wait for the other presentations for high school and senior high school particularly. Thank you, Ma'am Denya. Yes po ma'am. Yes, that is uh, for kindergarten po talaga yung naipakita kanina na sample ng weekly home learning plan. Okay, so are there other... Hello ma'am? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Ma'am, ma ma uh, just... uh, Please identify just yourself ma'am. Ma si Finda ma Natan po. I just would yes. like to ask the... Uh, how do we conduct the communication to parents that you have mentioned a while ago that it will be a psychological preparation for the learners in the parent face to face or is it uh, online, ma'am? Parent. Ma'am Denia, 
maputputod nga hang kuunay nga napatatay, hang kuunay na uh, may part doon na putol, doon sa pag-question uh, ni ma'am. Pero basing doon sa psychosocial na yun kanina na na-represent doon sa class A and class B, for parents naman, we can do naman the face-to-face, -face, pero is scheduled basis, and then hindi po lahat will be going to school. If some parents opted to uh, sa online, then igrupo mo rin po yung mga parents who opted to attend the psychosocial online. But meron din po tayong face-to-face -face kasi parents po naman ang imimit natin. But as to the learner, wala pong face-to-face. -face. Yun po. Thank you po, ma'am. Salamat po. Thank you. Uh, Rosita? Yes, ma'am. Uh, in addition to what Tenya has mentioned, uh, ma'am Thelma will explain to you tomorrow no, how the psychosocial activities will be conducted. A weekly home learning plan will also be presented. So, okay. Po. And then another thing for uh, for the question of ma'am Rosana, yung sabi niya, pag hindi natapos ni learner yung module, uh, kakat na ba natin, then we proceed to the next. Normally, we don't do that. Diba? We, uh, we want to make sure that the learner is learning pa rin, even at a uh, distance. No? So, pag, uh, pag, at, uh, pag na-detect natin or nag-ask siya ng help, sinabi niya na, ma'am, hindi ko po masubmit ngayon dahil hindi ko po talaga masolve itong uh, problem. I need guidance. Then, of course, you have tutukan muna natin yun. We cannot proceed to the next until na masolve muna yung prior na concern. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Carmel. So, are there any more questions? Ma'am Rose? Yes, Ma'am. Ma Pwede yes, makakalo up po doon sa sinabi ni Ma'am Carmel? Yes po, Ma'am. Go oh. ahead. So, so, so Ma'am Carmel, can we, can we add in the home uh, weekly home learning plan uh, schedule for uh, remediation. Parang remediation kasi ang mangyayari dun sa mga batang hindi makakasagot po nung module as is scheduled. Ma'am Carmel? Ma'am Ro, Ma Rosana, pakiulit. Medyo pangit ang aming reception. Pakiulit yes. ma'am. Napuputin siya. Uh -oh. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you mentioned a while back na yung mga bata, yung learners who cannot answer the module as scheduled will uh, not be expected to proceed to the next module. So we have uh, the teacher should make sure that they uh, there's a mastery on module one, for example. So in the weekly home learning plan, we can add or include a schedule for remediation over and above the regular class schedule of teachers? Or yes, shall we do it that on Saturdays? Po? Definitely, ma'am. Definitely. You can, uh, we cannot really proceed. I don't like it to make, uh, we cannot, we do not like it to become a vacuum, no? Uh, stop tayo dahil uh, this schedule I for science. Uh, Yung English niya hindi niya natapos dahil nga may concern siya. Eh, pero science na yung susunod na time. Uh, I think we have to... Yun na yung flexibility no, na sinasabi natin. Na kailangan talagang uh, masigurado natin muna na may learning that took place for English before we proceed to the next. So definitely, ma'am, you can uh, uh, add in your weekly home learning plan uh, a space or ano yun, a leeway for... Thank you, Ma'am uh, Carmel. Uh, Ma'am, Ma'am Carmel, may I add po? Yes. Uh, yung base po dun sa usapan namin as agreed yesterday when we had our meeting as a group, uh, di ba Ma'am Carmel, uh, yung feedbacking natin would be Monday and uh, Tuesday. Tama po ba, Ma'am? Uh -uh. So, yung feedbacking po, kasi di ba, yung first week po natin is that uh, wala pa yan, hindi pa po natin mamomonitor, ano po, only yung time na ma-retrieve po yung, yung modules niyan, ang retrieval is Friday, ano po, so the teacher will will have the 
the will will browse or look into that ng Saturday ano po so as expected sana po may feedback na si teacher ng Monday and Tuesday kung sino po yung makokol for remediation so remember po doon sa DMCI natin at nakalagay din po siya doon sa uh, debit memora uh, RM236 natin meron po tayong yung monitoring plan for learners especially those who were not able to cope up with the activities meron po tayong form doon ma'am pwede po nilang gamitin yon this is intended for those learners who were not able to cope with the activities ano po and yun nga po yung sabi natin sa time natin nasa atin na po yon na mag-schedule ng time for for that po as part ng remediation or intervention po Uh, the next siguro na siya ma'am, no? the next Saturday siguro na ma-schedule natin kasi hindi po agad-agad mamamonitor ka agad ng teacher yung yung output ng ng learner. So the next week po, Monday, Tuesday, yun lang po yung mag-feedback si teacher. Pwede niyang schedule ng next Saturday na po yung kanyang uh, remediation para yung uh, sabi ni Ma'am Carmel na hindi po maipunan na po. So thank you very much. Ma'am Anong? Uh, Ma'am Hilda Bayang is raising her hand for questions. So may I recognize Ma'am Hilda? Please share your question. Wala na? Ma'am? Ma'am Hilda Bayang. Or your question is the same with the question that were already answered. So may Ma'am Tanong? Yes, Ma'am. Ma'am from Benguet po. Paano po ito, Ma'am? Uh, grade 1 po ako, tapos mga kapitbahay ko po, mga, mga pinipis ko. Paano yun pag gusto nilang tunda sa'yo at magpaturo ng pagbasa? How is it? E face to face bawal. Yung parent ang mag... Uh... Ma'am Denia, may give the uh, screen parent, to you. As much as possible, kasi bawal nga po ang face-to-face uh, -face natin. Uh, as much as possible, kung meron pong uh, pwedeng magturo sa kadalang tahanan mismo, okay lang po na si parent or guardian, or meron din po tayo yung mga volunteer or para teacher. In the event po, pwede, bawal po kasing face-to-face -face, eh. So, Ay, di talagang ganun, ma'am. Wala na talaga kahit kapitbahay nyo yung mga pupils nyo. Kapag kapitbahay mo po, as instructed pa rin po, you maintain social distancing pa rin po. So, pwede siguro kapag magturo ka ng mga, ano din, phonet, phonemes, phonetics, at least medyo yes. malayo ka sa bata. At tapos sa reading. Pero in the event na maglalapit po kayo, yun po ang iniiwasan natin based po sa social distancing rules and regulation po natin. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. So I will recommend they will use face mask, face yes, shield. Po. Yes po, yes po, ma'am. Health protocols pa rin po. So can I accommodate five or eight pupils in a day? Uh, depende po, yes po ma'am, depende po sa iyo. Basta health protocols po tayo and then maintain social distancing and as much as possible kung wala, uh, kung mag- <laughs> po sa bata sa bahay, sabihin po talaga sana si ma'am. Ayan po. Bawal talaga. Uh, Thank you, Hello, si ano mo na? Ma'am Carmel? What then niya mentioned? Uh, when you When you're going to the homes of the learners, no allowed, uh, basta allowed, uh, basta allowed sa, sa konteksto ng community ninyo and the health protocols also. Um, hindi pwede yung papasok si teachers sa uh, bahay. No? Isang protocol yun na minensyon ng ating health officer. So there has to be a corner in the house kung saan lang pwedeng turuan ni teacher yung bata. Hindi siya pwede sa mismong uh, loob sa bahay. And of course, with a mask and sanitizer and... Pag sila ang pupunta sa bahay, hindi pwede papasok si teacher sa bahay. Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede ma'am. Hindi pwede lumabas. Hindi po talaga pwede ma'am. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Oh, okay, thank you. Any more? May nakatas dito si Sir, may call Sir Rolly Bird. Sir Rolly Hello. Bird? Yes, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. 
Yes sir, go ahead. Naririnig ka po sir. So, ganito po kasi uh, sa lalong lalo sa amin sa teknika, sa mga TLE subjects, ganun po. Uh, medyo medyo mas marami po yung mga as to content doon sa MERC. Uh, medyo ma mas, medyo mahaba yung content. So is, is there a possibility na yung isang milk is uh, good for uh, two weeks para ma-accommodate po doon sa hands-on part? Yan po ma'am. Thank you Hello, sir. Thank you sir for the question. So may I give again the Ma'am Carmel to answer? Can we ask uh, Jonah, please, to answer the question? That's TLE matters. Naka-unmute ka, Ma'am Jonah. Ay, naka-mute ka, Ma'am Jonah. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, ulitin natin, sir. So, ang tanong mo, sir, is yung isang LC, sir, marami siyang subcontents. Ano po? Marami siyang contents, tama, sir? Sige Uh -oh. Opo, ang tanong nyo, uh, marami siyang content, pwede ba na good for, for two weeks yan? Uh, ano sir, strictly we follow yung time allotment po niya. Kung halimbawa yung isang LC na yan ay good for one week siya, talagang good for one week siya sir. Kukunin lang natin yung importante doon na part. Pero in case sir na yung yung isang LC natin na maraming content, syempre alam naman po yan sa central office no, hindi sila magbibigay po ng isang LC na napakaraming content tapos isang week lang siya. So usually pag maraming contents yan, uh, good for two weeks siya. So ngayon sir, ang gagawin mo, uh, isa subtask mo pa rin siya sir, i-group mo sir. Yung po pwede sa isang week. So yun sir, ang ilalamp mo. I-merge mo sir sa isang week yung same concept. Tapos yung remaining concept niya, that's for two weeks. So yun sir, yung sinabi natin kanina na mag, magkaroon tayo ng merging ng, ng contents. Okay, kasi talagang sa TLE nakita ko nga po yung isang LC good for six weeks ang nakalagay. So ngayon po, ang gagawin ni teacher, i-analyze na yung content as expected. Kasi originally po, ano, kung may CG yan, makikita mo yung specific content niyan sa first column. Tama po ba sir? So, CG natin, content, content standard, performance standard. Tapos yung last ko, uh, fourth column is the LCs. So, ngayon, sir, kung LC lang yung nandoon sa milk natin, dahil ang basis niyan ay si CG, i-review po natin si CG. Andun po yung specific content as expected. So, yun po, titignan natin. Kung halimbawa naka six weeks siya, mag-merging po tayo doon. Okay, sir. Yung mga same concept po, pagsamahin natin sa isang week, another same concepts naman, uh, sa second week na po siya. Kung gagawa natin siya ng module, ganun din po, sir. Katulad ng question kanina ni Ma'am Tayaban, Ma'am Glenjoy, uh, LC1, module 1, pero meron siyang subtitle ulit doon. Tapos, LC1 pa rin siya, pero module 2 tayo, another subtitle siya for to cover all the contents na na-merge. Okay na po, sir? Yes, sir. Kasi kung nagsuturo ng computer subject, ng computer subject, and then sa situation na ito, ano pong pwedeng may suggest ninyo? Paano namin may cater ng problems namin sa hands-on, sa computer po, ma'am? Uh, Considering yes, po ma'am na not all have uh, gadgets or yes, I mean uh, laptop. Ah, yes po. So doon na tayo. Ay medyo maingay. Excuse po. <laughs> uh, yeah, mother. Ayan, naghahanda na yata ng lunch. Saglit po. Okay. So, eto yung query ni sir, paano sa hands-on natin, paano natin siya gagawin na ipapakita yung performance task? Pwede pa rin po yun, sir. Considering na hindi lahat ay may computer sa bahay. Tama po yan, sir. Ngayon po, ang gagawin natin doon, yun po yung gamit ng visual. No, halimbawa, yung part ng CPU... Ipapakita po natin doon, halimbawa kung CSS, ICT, ano po. So ipapakita natin yung halimbawa yung parts niya, yung hard drive, yung, 
yung anong tawag nito, itong mga to, yung mga media devices or peripheral devices niya. Ipapakita po natin through picture, tapos sa lesson, ano po, yun ang ipapakita natin sa lesson. Tapos, ipapakita natin kung paano siya ikakabit through picture po lahat ang mangyayari, sir. Kaso nga lang, ang gagawin natin doon, in case may option po to, tayo doon sa may, maglalagay po tayo ng specific na option doon sa merong uh, laptop at computer, at yun ay gagawin po nila mismo. Pero doon sa wala, they will make use of yung visual siya. Ano po? Like for example, pinakita mo sa kanila yung devices, peripheral devices ng, ng na ito, unit natin, uh, i-arrange nila yon or i-picture nila at gagawa nila ng draw. Hello. Meron, na naririnig po ba, sir? Uh -uh. So, ang magiging rubrics po niya, sir, yes, sir, ang magiging rubrics po niya doon is kung tama ba na na-assemble niya through picture lang po. Ganon talaga wala tayong magagawa doon. Pero we will give option po, note or remarks, na yung mga meron sa bahay, with the help of that picture, procedural picture, itatry nila yon And ang mag evaluate po kung tama ay yung parent or yung sibling. So yun po yung assistance na ibibigay ni sibling or ni parent. Comparing it to the picture po na ginawa natin doon sa what is it. Okay? So, uh, ganun siya, sir. Tapos, kung halimbawa doon sa mga meron naman, pwede kang magbigay, sir, ng link for video na makita nila kung paano siya i-assemble mismo doon. Pero yung concern nga natin doon sa mga wala, talaga, through picture tayo, sir. Kung baga, i-assemble nila yon, ito yung mga parts, i-drawing nila, na-disassemble na siya, tapos may another drawing doon na na-assemble na, 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 na siya. Okay, ipapakita nila yung part, halimbawa yung, yung port natin na nakakonect na po siya po doon. Through picture lang po talaga siya, sir. Wala po tayong magagawa doon kasi talagang... Uh, so, ano Lalong-lalo, ma'am, dun sa, sa, for example, doon sa technical drafting po, ma'am, kasi mm -hmm. they need to operate the AutoCAD software. So, yun nga po na, na nag-iisip ko kung paano kaya gawin yun. Uh -huh. eh, uh, ang magiging performance uh, rubric nun, sir, is that yung kung correctness at saka yung presentation. So, kasama po doon sa gagawin niya, i-explain niya kung paano niya kinunek or inassemble yung parts. Para makikita niyo po na, ah, okay, na-follow niya talaga yung procedure, na-drawing niya, na-share niya verbally. So, ang magiging rubrics niyo po doon, correctness ng assembly niya, as to be sure, plus yung presentation niya noong kanyang inassemble. Yung thoughts niya kung well-presented ba, ibig sabihin na intindihan niya in terms of concept, yung drawing through skill na lang po siya, sir. Uh, yung, yung skill po is through drawing, assembly siya through drawing po. Okay, sir? Yan, yan po mga so, pwede po yan sa mga... May, may performance ano, rubrics pa rin po siya, sir. Mm -mm. Tama po, ma'am. Uh, applicable siya, ma'am, doon sa may mga parts. Mm -mm. Pero uh, yung, yung, yun nga po, ma'am, yung problema namin doon sa limbit. Let's say, for example, doon sa application software. Mm -mm. Yan, software. Doon sa halimbawa, pag-drawing uh, pag sa AutoCAD po, ma'am, yun po yung talaga ang mahirap. <coughs> Mm -hmm. nga po sabi al eh nandun naman po doon sa milk yun ma'am uh, ah yun, sir uh, ganito sir no yung in terms of demonstration pwede sir i-video nyo yung sarili nyo sir through USB yes, parang gano'n mag-video po ma'am uh, uh, sir mag magde-demo kayo ng sarili nyo sir sa USB ano sir i-save nyo siya sa USB yes. tapos gagawa po magpapakita sir kayo ng dalawang video Yung isang video, mm -hmm. tama yung process. Yung isang video, may konting mali sa process. Para mm -hmm. i-process nila kung alin doon yung mali looking at the video sa USB. Mm -hmm. It's good kung meron sila ulit TV na merong USB. <laughs> Yun ulit. Pero kung okay. hindi, yeah, yeah. kung hindi po, baka meron sa kapitbahay, social distancing, bakod ang pagitan. <laughs> Ano, so, sir? in short, ma'am, start na lang po ni teacher. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Talagang, by all means, talagang kailangan natin ipakita yung, 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 yung demonstration natin. 
uh, situational ano na lang po, parang situational analysis ang gagawin ng estudyante. Ano po? So, i-decipher niya kung alin doon, demonstration A ang tama, demonstration B at demonstration C, at i-explain niya kung bakit. Ano po? Ayun. Ganun na siyang, sir. Kayo na talaga ang gagawa. Siya <laughs> ma'am. Salamat. Okay, so thank you very much, sir. And thank you very much, ma'am John, ma'am Denya, and ma'am Carmel. So, it's almost lunchtime. So, I believe that there are some questions. There will be many questions that are arising in our mind. So, may we reserve them to be asked after all the presentations for this day. Maybe the presentation of case stage 2, case stage 3, and case stage 4 might address some of our questions. So, shall we clear a break? So, we will wish you a glag in kayo manan no 1.10. 1.10, we are going to start the next session. So, please log in 10 minutes before 1.10. So, have a good day. And by the way, please accomplish the attendance sheet that is uh, posted in the chat pane. So let's call it uh, morning. So thank you very much and see you again virtually for the afternoon session.